hopefully make sure everything works and listen to it, make sure it sounds good. Okay, Hello? sounds good. Yeah, we good. Yeah. Hello. We good. We, uh, guess what happened? Right when you did that, I shifted slightly to the left and my headset popped out. So how about that? <laughs> Alrighty. Well done. Well yes, done. Fair. You know, sometimes fair. the timing can just be absolutely perfect. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Unexpectables here on the Unexpectables. <laughs> but he yeah, said it twice. <laughs> I know, right? Welcome to the Unexpectables on the Unexpectables. I'm the Unexpectables, joined by the Unexpectables. Holy oh, shit. Jeez, yeah, dude. My brain is full of fuck right now. Your, your brain's going to be full of a lot more than fuck. It's going to be full of great ideas because, Zito, where can they find you? Oh, I guess you could find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito and on uh, CZ Backlash on uh, Twitter and uh, Everang and Olmanac on Patreon, which uh, I don't have anything for DMs Guild right now, but basically I'm transforming my entire uh, Patreon this month into Fantasy Australia. Driders and Gator people, I'm going to post it in chat. There you go. If you want to join, you can get the playtest builds right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, I'm sorry. That just sounds like Australia. It doesn't sound like a fantasy version of it at all. I mean, you get to be a elf that's half spider. So uh, it's kind of fantasy. Is that a West uh, Coast thing in Australia? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. Uh, you could also find me uh, on Twi uh, Twitch this week. Uh, Rivals of Aether kind of bit me in the ass, and now I got the mod bug. So kind of want to make up some new mods for that. Uh, I might stream that. And then also when Half-Life VR finally uh, hits its last episode or whatever it finishes up, we'll be watching that on my stream because that that's fucking show is gonna kill me uh good shit oh well, my god you know what's good shit your con your content over there guys and goober where can they no, find it though it's full of weeby bullshit what are you talking about you can find me at twitch. Have, you, have you, you not seen the internet they're all about that right now you, you can find me at twitch.tv slash gaijin goomba uh taiko tuesday yesterday was a good success a lot of dumb memes come out of that with lots of anime music uh had a new video go up yesterday as well uh, talking about Ninjala and how gum would totally work with Ninja, but don't worry about that. Uh, let's see here. Saturday and Sunday, I'm not sure, man. I've tried to play through 7, like 7 Remake. I don't like it. I nope. just, I, I can't, I can't. I want to it, so it, bad. Some people just don't like character action games, and they don't find it fun. And that's, yeah. you know, and I feel bad because everything else about it is fucking great. I just, I'm like, oh. why can't it just be an RPG it, like it was? It looks, it's 15. It, it's just it 15. Looks, yeah, it Ugh. looks it looks and it looks and sounds beautiful, but it's the gameplay is really disjointed. Anyway, um, let's see what we're, else we got a brand new. I'm oh, sorry, yes, money. I was gonna say we're never gonna get a character like Albert Steiner ever ever again. It's all about no. the pretty boys now. He's no, you listen have... here. Palmer is a beautiful gremlin man, and I will not have him change for anything. Okay, I, 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 it, is, it is really it is really great mm. to know that our version of him for FF7 Machina Bridge inspired the new Palmer for the remake. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Just trash goblin character. <laughs> Ew. Space. We also have a brand new uh, Greckles emote. I would love to see that get spammed periodically. Uh, God, what else? Uh, working on another video. What was that? Oh, we're I'm, I'm finally covering Digimon. After eight years of doing YouTube, I've never touched it, and I'm going to break that uh, next week. So. Yeah, I could do run them on, right? Do, does every <laughs> do, does every Sorry. video start with the digi rap, and why doesn't it? <laughs> because you're not singing it, Kurt. I need you to record that. When are you, you sending that to me? You're I'll late! You, guess I what? Don't... You're going to get one take, and that's the take you use. Kurt, okay? <laughs> Kurt, <laughs> Kurt do, you think, do you think you can encompass the great talent that was DJ Peapod? Isn't that, wasn't that his name? That's his name?! <laughs> Was that his name? Let me try. Let me try. Let me try. Time to size Digimon. Is that good? The Digi world will Digi rule with Digi teens and Digi attitude. There we go. Um. Also, apparently, my microphone's gotten worse, so we're probably gonna have to resync. Oh god. Oh my god. Do we have to turn off our audio or just yours? Um. I mean, I can just. We can just resync. I mean, we could just restart All right. it. Chat, yeah. we need to resync. Can you guys... Hold, hold, hold on. Give me two seconds here just to unplug and replug in my microphone really fast. All right. Cancel here. our recordings, guys. Get rid of that six minutes of our lives. Oh. Be, be right back. I'm just going to leave. Starting the... a, we are starting a little bit late tonight, folks, because it is the first time we're running through the Unexpectables here on the Unexpectables. And a big shout-out to the amazing talent making this work. Big shout-out to Citric King. And oh, man. Who else helped out with it? I've, I've not been avoided. I've, be, I've not been in any and of the production. And viewers like you. And viewers yeah. like you. But I don't That's want to my line. 
It goes Hello. without saying. Am I good? Hi. Do I sound better? You sound exactly uh, the same. Oh, really? The yeah. It, it just it just sounds like you're like it's uh it sounds sound like you're muffled and a little bit far away. And weird. Oh, I literally unplugged and replugged in my thing, and I haven't touched anything, so I have no idea. Well, this... also, are we... go into uh, your. I don't know. Um, just just make sure your microphone on Discord is the same one. Just. Yeah. Okay. I'll check real fast. I, there's so, there's shit. Guys, I don't think there's welcome. any other. Hi guys, welcome to Tech Time with the Unexpectables. Woo! Are we just yeah, redoing the I'm audio? On... Or are we still recording? I'm on oh, my I'm on my focus right, so there's nothing. There's no other microphone it could physically choose on this computer, so I have no idea. I mean, mm. as long as, are you are you okay with that, Chad? Is this is this okay? I, I think it's fine. It, it sounds like it, your your audio is being compressed, and you know what I think might be going on. Check your ch check your OBS input. It might be stop gapping you or something like that. I'm not on OBS on this computer that my microphone's attached to. Okay, then that's then then okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not recording through Wallfly, so. I see. Um, do I have a mo noise filter on Discord? We don't know. Uh, we can just pretend that you're in the sky. We're gonna find out. We're gonna get right to it here, folks. But while we hey, are doing uh, this, faster. Hi. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, just real, real quick. You should record something. Uh, in Audacity while we're... Yeah, while I'll, I'll, I'll try that. Stuff. It might be a Discord thing. One second. Yeah, no testing, worries. testing. One, two, three, one, two, three. Hi, guys. Uh, I would like to thank everybody for their bits and subs. We'll make sure to read them off here once we get through this next phase. But while um, we're all... Uh, I'm clear as day on Audacity, so it's, it's okay, Discord. So Discord. Do me a favor. Yeah. Right. Your person video settings. Make sure that your audio subsystem is legacy. I am. I'm already on Legacy. I checked cool. that first, actually. All right. So yeah, uh, it's see. just uh, it's just Discord hating my Scarlet again. I think. Okay, you're not using noise suppression. You've got the gain control off, noise reduction, echo cancelization. And so everyone in the chat, vods are turned on now, guys. Thank you for reminding us. Oh yeah, trust me, I know. Yep. <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't, you know, it would have been a good jig. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh God. Me, they're on. They're on. <laughs> oh, we can't have that. By the way, everyone, we're seeing all your subs and bits. Your guys' kindness is overwhelming. My God, we can we can start a little bit late. I kind of there's a new ranting. audio noise suppression. Apparently, everyone's talking about. There's uh, even pro probate mentioned it uh, as yeah. well. So in, I, that, in that, voice that, and video, in yeah. voice and video, there's like hardware acceleration options, echo cancellation, noise reduction, automatic gain. Oh, control. noise suppression beta. It's on. So, so turn that off. Turn that off. Turn Maybe. That off. All right, I turned it off. Yeah! Oh, so much Perfect. better. Oh, that was it. fucking hell. hell. That's what it is. Oh, fuck. There crank up your all. Crank up your volume, though. You're quiet. Am I quiet? One second. Let me just check. Well, just I was just gonna. I was just gonna ask if that stuff was on. That's the ticket. Opa. Opa. Opa's out, chat. Opa. <laughs> Opa. How do you take out an Opa, though? Hello. Oh yeah, I sound. I sound yeah. crystal. You sound crystal great. Clear. Yeah. You sound crystal clear now. Yeah. All right. Sound perfect. way better. Wall fly, go away. All right. Now, Gordon, you need to pay three play coins to turn off the beta wear. <laughs> Help Probate me, just crossed, Probate just crossed his arms and went, knew it. <laughs> Dude, I, just, he, I, just, I just heard him adjust his anime glasses. I, I swear to God. Uh, let's resync. Let's restart our audio. Excellent. Okay. All right, all right, chat, are you ready to Hello, sync Austin. up, chat? We got to get you in on this, Austin. chat. You're all in on us with us here, chat. Is everyone good Hello, to go? Hello, Austin. Let's go. All right. All right. Hello, Austin. Right. One, two, three, sync. 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 One, two, three, sink. Sink, sink. One, two, three, sink. Sink, sink. Look, Gordon, Gordon, Gordon bro, I'm sink. synced. <laughs> Look, Gordon, I've synced up. Ah, what a rip. <laughs> what a rip. All righty. Uh, okay, so we, we got a lot of bits, a lot of subs being dropped down here, but we got, we thank you so much, Goomba. Thank you so much, Zito. But Distortion Devil, where can they find you, you evil bastard? Uh, they can find me on Twitter and Twitch at Distortion Devil. Oh, uh, it feels good. Uh, a stream uh, Tuesdays and Sundays is my workout stream slash uh, R.I.W. We had the first episode of season two of R.I.W. Uh, yesterday, and it was spectacular. I, I honestly I'm having a whole lot of fun with this game. Uh, it's it's crazy and nutty, and I've I've managed to use that to my advantage. Uh, Friday is Friday Fun House, where I play a lot of uh, party games with my friends and I get drunk. And uh, make a fool of myself live on Twitch.tv. Uh, and Saturday, playing through the entirety of the Devil May Cry series, and we were on the last entry, Devil May Cry 5, and I don't want it to be over. 
I'm sorry. But you're going to play with me eventually at some point. Yeah, it's going to be yeah. awesome. You get to experience me experiencing that entire series blind because I have no idea what oh, the fuck boy. happens in it. <laughs> We're not playing DMC, DMC. You told me that many times, and I yeah. nod my head. And I'm reiterating, we're not playing. <laughs> okay. I just want that one because he's like, I wish I could fill your dark heart with light or whatever it is. With light! <laughs> yeah, get the crack in. The crack is important. No, don't worry. We'll we'll get there. But that's my week. And then we have boss that's boss. awesome. Hey, is that is that is that Final Fantasy VII remake Edward Bosco over there? Uh, it is, and thanks for shitting on my game before I did my intro. I appreciate that. That's always nice. You're uh, super yeah, welcome. I'm I'm in Final Fantasy VII, guys. So I'm gonna just kind of leave it there. I also stream. You guys know where to find me. I got wrestling on Fridays, and I've got uh, Overcooked. Which Citric, you still suck, no matter how nice your overlay is for raising the unbred. And screw Kevin, definitively screw Kevin. Like he's a jerk. What and a uh, dick. yeah, also WWE is a bunch of assholes. So I'm just oh. gonna say that. That's my that's my hot take. Oh my! You, you, you want to add one more? Rusev actually gave twenty five thousand dollars of his own money to help pay for some production staff. Who oh, I know. It's, I, it's, dude, it's like, oh my god! It's like just this wave of not, like... not the time. You just wanted to put that out there in the ether. Huh? That's my intro. Monty, cool. our GM extraordinary. Actually, you know what? I'll go. I'll, 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 I'll go second to last. Hi guys, I'm Taka. My bad. Everybody can check me out there on twitchtv slash taka 101 which is not here. It's somewhere else now. Uh, it's stiff oh, wow. changes happened guys wow. look there's a new layout different a new site different i'm so scared different. of change all right guys i'm sorry uh it's time for change da -da 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 -da. <gasps> But yes, guys, you can find me on Twitch.tv slash talk on one Tomorrow, we have Multiverse Nexus Wrestling and with the great help of Edward Bosco and Arkov. We're going to be putting on a hell, hell of a hell of a good show. I am very excited for tomorrow. And that starts hopefully around 3 to 4 o'clock. And we will see, depending on how the internet handles everything. Because my parents got the new internet box. As well, guys, I have been putting time into Mountain Blade 2, but Ur Lord, Banner Lord, of course, which is a fantastic mm -hmm. game made by... The original creators of Mountain Blade Warband, which is a just so much fun. But starting next week, I guess starting in May, here well, the new XCOM games coming out in a couple weeks. Oh God! Out of left Chimera field, Squad. Out of left field, and now you can marry a snake. So you know what, guys, I'm all in. You can now have a you can now have an alien wife. You can have a you can have a, a handsome mutton husband with giant jean pants. That's the thing they did. They put all the aliens in jeans. Did they Wait, put like snake on jeans? Hey, you can you, yeah. you can marry a snake. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Goodbye, reality. You were yes. useless to us all. <laughs> <laughs> what was hey, it, Bosco? I, I sent you a message in the general chat. If you could just do that real quick, when you get a quick second. A general chat. Where is it, it, in the the unexpectables general yes, chat? Yes, sir. On Discord. Uh, yes, sir. I'm gonna. Uh, I can't believe a chat they made the snake brothels canon. Uh, <laughs> no. I have that at the. I just, I just, I literally just put it into hosting on my channel, like right before the stream started. So okay, I probably don't switch over yet. No worries. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's like the top priority. Like it's the number one on the list, so it should override no matter what. But I'll, I'll go in and raid nonetheless on my account. Okay. I Let's believe you. I Here's believe you. <laughs> Dude, I went the whole. I did. That was the first thing I sat down because I knew if I didn't do it, I was gonna get crapped on. So yeah, I did it's it. Still, it's still something else. So that's why I, I double. Mother. Okay, I'm gonna go over there right now. No, no, we're not. We're sort of stopping this. I'll tell you what. You go do that, and then I'll take over where you left off. Hang on. A Ask Monty how her day's going. Hi, Hi, Monty. How is your day going? Everything is terrible. I wasn't actually genuinely curious. I was just okay. trying to. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm, I'm sorry. We're, we're still we're still kind of stuck on the idea that snakes wearing jeans is the equals domestication of aliens. All right. Um, now, if there's one I leg, is it like, just a gene? I have been very busy, obviously, <laughs> with this gene. channel and everything else that's been going on. I'm sitting here longingly wishing I could play RE3, but I've had no time to do so. Um, <laughs> All right, hang in there, buddy. Instead, I've been commissioning art and doing work. <laughs> that's been my life. Um, so <clears throat> I've been, uh, I had to cancel my stream on Sunday uh, because we had to do the restream of the Prince Division. Which, by the way, if you guys haven't caught it yet, uh, we actually have a secondary show on Saturdays, which is called The Prince Division. It features uh, Mr. Distortion Devil, uh, Edward hey. Bosco, Arkolf, and uh, Sarah, whose last name I forgot, which is very bad. But Williams. Sarah Williams. Williams. Sarah Williams. Yep. She's, it's she's Links and League of Legends. Or Jinx and League of Legends. I was about to say Jinx and League, yeah. Yeah. 
she's very nice and she should hopefully be joining us this coming Saturday, though that's we'll not see. If, if not, I'll drag her out of the house. Yeah. She's also um, Tifa on FF7 Machina Bridge, guys. Right, but we're only talking yeah. about professional credits. Hey. Wow, 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 wow. Anyway, anyway. Wow. It's okay, I, I was Wedge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, honestly, Zeal, that fits. If you guys haven't caught it yet, we did have to rebroadcast because there was a VOD issue. We fixed that. Uh, but the VOD is on Twitch if you guys want to watch that. Uh, the first episode was really good, and it's a lot of fun. It's a modern 5th edition setting in campaign. My phone just went off. Um, so definitely uh, check it on out. Me. And then uh, if you want to see me doing stuff, uh, like a fool, uh, tomorrow I'm going to be playing Pokemon uh, Mystery Dungeon. We literally just got through being exiled for being a freak of nature. That is actually what happens. Wow. In what are you doing back? Get out of here, you freak! Yeah, literally, uh, the village I was a part of and friends with turned on me like an angry mob, and they they chased me out of town, and then I redeemed myself and came back. Um, so you can catch me going through that distressing experience. Um, and then on Sundays, we're going to be back to Pokemon XE Gale of Darkness. A lot of Pokemon. Um, don't expect any RE3 streams. I'm just too busy. So, yeah, no. Aww. <laughs> you know, you could put a, put aside one of those Pokemon streams. Yeah, she's RE3. not going to be able to beat it for a tenth time. Shut up. <laughs> it's eight I, times, but ten? you know, I I was I, rounding up. I, I just gotta say because I can't get over this right now. I'm just imagining the pitch meeting at the XCOM studio. Okay, it's like, all right, guys, just have a pitch or a mutton on stage on screen. Pull it back. Pull the board back. It's just in jeans. Standing ovation from everybody. It's just like brilliant, <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> it's just a XCOM snake three will never be the same. The bloodletting snake lady. Pulls it up, jean skirt. <laughs> I would just say to it, I would just bravo, 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 Johnson. We'll release it in two weeks. <laughs> Alrighty, it's it's that one scene at the end of uh, at the end of Let's Destroy the Shagohod with the old men on the sign Kurt, with a picture of a snake. Have, hmm. Kurt, you have a lot of time to read off bits, so just keep okay, going. I, we're, before we're I read off the bit, bits, bits and subs, you guys are kind. I, I think it's time to pop open a bubbly, which is the Canadian Lacroix. We don't talk way, about wrestling in this house anymore, Kurt. Uh, yeah, this is Canadian Lacroix. We have Canadian Lacroix, and right now I am going to be tasting Ghost of Lime. Let me just—that's a flavor. <laughs> yeah, nice, uh, dude. What what about uh, top of Tupperware mm. that used to contain lime? One of my <laughs> one of my favorite it. one was orange juice lid. Kurt, <laughs> Kurt. What about the Kurt. what about the essence of lime? Kurt, she said you had time to read. Please, please read the bits. Like, uh, oh, I don't know. I, 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 of course, I am taking. Oh, no worries, no worries. We're going jumping oh, into it again. All righty, guys. There's a lot of bits, a lot of subs. We're gonna get through it here the quick I can. All right. Go. Oh. Nicholas Charlovich, Afroblade Master B52, make the Silent Night. Candy Holtes, PM Ghost, SF Cody, White Knight Crusader, Afroblade Master, Crazy Fox, gifting five subs to the community. Thank you, Crazy Fox, so much for the five subs. As well, Derpy Doogie, Overlord Cornut, thank you so much, Strong Glad, gifting 10 subs to the community. Thank you so much to Strong Glad 2220. Pika Fan 003, Virgil the Dragon Bard, Philip Chanter, Lucky Dog Chris, Banana the Strange, Dax Z99, Crow the Immortal Aegis Scythe, Zeon the Cobalt, Omega Weeb, Not Dante 42, Guy. Gia Zymesite and Icy Bria's uh, Lissel Scrow, as well as Ah oh, Well Nah, Ashendari 010, Alucard True 5, The Taubes, Novajan, Rand Kozak gifting us up as well, A Shiny Ralts, Nightshade 935, <coughs> Sari I Say, Jewel Fish, S Wolf 95, Dangle gifting two subs as well. Thank you, Dangle, Hurricane Andrew. Back card 20, the Light Ward, Macmon, as well as S Wolf 95 gifting five subs to the community. Thank you so much to S Wolf. Feeling twitchy. Montez Hers too. Nope man gifting a sub. I will we'll get to you in a moment, improved furball. Good God in heaven. Demon Shark 666, the number of the beast, the lack of. As well as Renfield gifting 10 subs to the community. Thank you so much to Renfield 88. Holy crap. Alucard 790 with five subs gifted to the community. Thank you so much to Alucard 790. Flame Master 9 with 10 subs gifted to the community. Thank you so much to Flame Master 9. Valzoa 23. Thank you so much for the sub as well. The Light Ward gifting 10 subs to the community. Thank you so much to the Light Ward. You're guarding us. The Bag of Holding. Thank you so much as well. Uh, uh, King can we get Grimoire. a quick, quick 
quick pause, Kurt. You still need to host the channel. It is not automatically going off. So you're gonna have to go to your. I rated the channel. Yeah, I saw it. it, it oh, got did you? Rated. Okay, okay. Yeah, it sorry. finally clicked I... over. Yeah, I love it. Okay, okay, sorry, I didn't see it. I was working. Uh, I gotta start over again. I lost my place, guys. All right. Um. Go ahead. Keep going. Here we go. Maverick <clears throat> Men Mentation. Thank you very much as well. The River of Sticks, Vowless, Armada TX3, Lubu009, Noble and Pursue Him, Aljuan Ep, thank you very much, Alien Ghost 365, A Digital Mask, thank you for gifting a sub, Mr. Pockets150, as well, I want to thank, oh my lord, this is, okay, Improved Furball, thank you for the sub, Pox, the Poxander, Three Kobolds, One Coat, Riku9619, Zemabog2720, as well as Pi. Oh my gosh, sorry. It's, it's, it's like literally it's taking a while to load. Uh, thank you for the raid, me. Uh, also, Alina Starshine. Thank you. Thank Alina Starshine gifting 20, sorry, not gifting 20, 36 subs. Holy shit from Man. Alina Starshine. Thank you so freaking much. My God. Leo's champion, thank you as well. Soda J underscore J, the night midnight war D midnight midnighterd white. Button the spot three two two six. Sonas J gifting a sub. Sonas J gifting a sub. Sonas J giving a sub. Sonas J gifting a sub. <laughs> over and over and over again. Sonas J is gifting them subs. What Shane does, thank you so much for the sub as well. Mark Wolf with the five subs gifted to the community. Oz195 with 10 subs gifted to the community. My God in heaven, you guys. Vade Loket, Alk27, Alk27, Clown Captain, Biako071, as well, Mad Tom K, as well as. Defective Sheep gifting five subs to the community. Thank you so much to Defective Sheep for that incredible kindness. J Frost 747 gifting 10 subs to the community. ALK27, ALK27 with five subs right after J Frost 10. My goodness. See Anders, Jizimo 90, Burning Pie. Thank you all so freaking much. Holy crap, guys. And now I got to thank you for the bits. Uh, I'm sorry if we, we I'm going to thank you very much for the 500 bit drops. We usually read out those messages. How much time do we have to do? Uh, you have nine minutes. I'll try my best. Get going. I'll try my best to get through this you year. Might, you a lot might of... not be able to read messages and just have to read out and thank the bits. I, 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 I will try and read off the... Okay, I'll try my best here. Uh, let me scroll down here. Oh, my God. Uh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, Worm Spawn, thanks so much for the thousand bits. Greatly appreciate it. No best is just bits. Great first message. Nackley Polly with a 1500 bits. Been waiting all week for this. Well, thank you so much, Nackley Polly. Alto <coughs> Atma Gamer with a 1000 bits. I wish I could catch this live, but because the time zones, it's running late. So I'll see you in the VOD. See you there, man. Thank you so much for swinging by here. McCleary, thank you for the bits. Fusebox08, thank you for the bits. SF Cody, thank you so much for the bits. Phil Chanter, thank you for the bits. Bad Wombat Man, thank you for the bits. God damn, you guys. I really appreciate it. Sorry we can't read out your full message. Razorback Rocker, thank you so freaking much for the bits. We're very happy. Uh, to have you here with us, Thornton, 2017 with 5,000 bits. Hello again, Monty. Question for you. What tools or items do you use to make the voices for Log and other constructs? Metal coffee can. Has to be metal. Has to be metal. Well done. Thornton, 2017, thank you so much for the 5,000 bits. And now you gave him a life hack. Thank you very much there. As well, Keon. Uh, I'm sorry if I miss anybody. I do apologize here. Uh, Bandy 13813, thank you so much for the bits as well. Uh, 1,000 bits <clears throat> to the maiden voyage of this campaign on this channel. Oh my god, a giant rock! Kubo Sumaki with 1,000 bits. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Fuck em up, thank you for the bits. Renfield idiot with 1,000 bits. Bits through, brought to you by the US government. Wash the bits before you use them. <laughs> thank you, Renfield 88. Uh, John, thank you for the bits. Tulter Skelter, thank you so much for the bits as well. Do greatly appreciate that donation. Real meta with the 2,000 bits. Remember, Discord noise suppression ruins mic quality, so make sure not to have that dumb stuff on, says Real Meta 20 minutes ago. I learned. Leave me alone. <laughs> I don't know. No, no, this is the, the, no, no. Meta wants you to go back in time so he can be right. Thank you so much for the 2,000 bits, though. <clears throat> Daisy Head with the 1,500 bits. Gim Gam's pronunciation of oh, Chickle fuck. Hurts. It's Cheek Clay, not Chickle. Give some <sighs> shit with these bits. <sighs> he wants me to throw these bits at you. Bosco. Throw them back. Throw them back. Just throw, throw them, back. them back. Throw them back. Okay, Bosco, do you Okay, no one wants these? No one? Zito? No? No one? No? I'm good. I'm, I'm just throwing Boomba, them. you sure? Yeah, I'm real sure. Throw them back. Oh, okay. No, we're going to throw them at the Dean now. <laughs> oh, ah, ah. Blackfoot Fair with the lead bits. Unexpected, unexpected with 1,337 bits. Thank you so much, Blackfoot Ferret. 
for your lead bits. Silly Nero with a 1500 as you guys help me get through my constant battle of depression and trying to find validation in my life along with drawing, drawing. Keep being amazing. Well, Silly Nero, thank you so much for swinging by here. Thank you for the 1500 bits. And this too shall pass. McCleary with the 500 bits. Thank you very much. Improved Furball with 20,000 bits. Can we get some snaps up for Improved Furball? Improved Verbal has this, in your opinion, what makes for a good, memorable villain? I'd like to steal first place on this one. I want to I I say my, my response to you, Improved Verbal. What makes a good villain is when they are objectively correct. But they're going about it in the wrong way. Improved, that's at least my opinion. Anyone else real fast while I go, move on to the next person? No, nah, that's pretty on point. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah, I don't have time. A real I don't real have person time with real motivation. To... I don't have time to explain it, so I'll just nod. There is no time to explain. Yeah, uh, keep going. <laughs> I missed the sub from a lack of. I apologize for missing that sub. Improved football. Thank you again for the 20,000 bits. God damn. That is incredibly freaking kind of you. Nerdy Notion Z, thank you for the bits. Royal Renegade 96, thank you for the whole, oh, my lord. <laughs> keep going, yeah. keep going, keep going. Sorry, I, I just. You have five Saratone, minutes. Keep th going. Th thank you for the sub. Val Valzoa, thank you for the sub as well. Nerdy Ocean Z, thank you again. Real fast here. Oh, I'm almost halfway there. Huh. Uh, bad Wombat Bad with the 500 bits. Thank you very much. Demon Shark 666, the number of the beast with 1500 bits. No messages. Bits. Thank you so much to Demon Shark. One of the scariest movies ever. Mightiest Yeti with 2500 bits. Hey guys, now that I can catch the stream tonight. I'm in quarantine until the 24th because I had a fever for one day. Perfectly feeling, perfectly fine. Luckily, I'm still being paid by my company. Hype for tonight. <laughs> Well, 2,500 point, 2,500 bits. Thank you so much, and glad to hear you're feeling okay. Improved furball with 5,000 bits. Thank you so much for improved furball for the 5,000 bits of support. S Wolf 95. Thank you so much for the bits. Kings Grimoire, Thank you for the subs. Andrea Nevermore. Thank you for the bits. Light Bender Six with 5,300 bits. I just want to give my thanks to Taka for being the funniest improv orc I have ever seen. Guys, in for reminding me. How to really rogue it up. Zeno for being an amazing straight man and the DM for Natural Wonders. Connor for making me want a metal background to everything you do. And Bosco for being my absolute favorite voice actor. Lastly, Aww. Monty for building an amazing and everlasting world full of love. Thank you so much. Don't worry about reading this out loud. Well, son, you, you buried the lead. Thank you, Blight Bender 6 <laughs> for the 5,300 bits. <laughs> it's like at the end when you gave me that test and at the end, don't do this test and then you'll pass. Damn it! <laughs> They played me like a damn fiddle. Our Fox Blood with a thousand bits. Super congrats to the new Twitch channel, guys. Rock those rock boys. Thank you. Our Fox Blood will do it in honor of you. Dr. Nero, thank you for the bits. Ir Irrelevant 21. Oh my god, Irrelevant 29 a with a th that oh, the thousand bit. Can we build a statue to Irrelevant? That's so that's have my first bits. We'll never forget them, Irrelevant. We'll never. <laughs> that's <laughs> such a good name. That's so strong. Well, can, can we stop that's like the stream? Achilles, that's like Achilles' nipples level of creative. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> B-52 makes a silent night with a thousand bits. Yay for first <sighs> live stream that I can catch and not be working. Well, thank you so much, B-52. Makes a silent night for the thousand bits and hope you're having an okay night so far. Alien Ghost 365. I don't know if I called out your bit, your sub, but thank you very much. A lack of with a thousand bits. First ever bit drop and making a new sub baby to boot roll high everybody not monty no, not monty not monty a lack like, of oh no she took the goodwill i just rolled a natural 20 actually no good get that out of your system oh, good. 24 yeah. with 1400 uh, bits i really love this new layout have fun tonight guys Genius 24 thank you so much for the 1400 bits i really appreciate that and 765 super with a thousand bits why is bosco and everything Okay, I actually have a response to this. It's because when you're talented, you get booked. Uh, it's because I have patience. That's not even remotely true. No, no, that's... Why? What are you talking about? Is there anything you'd like to say <laughs> that you can't take back live on stream? <laughs> no. Carry on. No. Sloth one with 5,000 bits. He's the icon of sin. <laughs> Yeah, watch him sit on this stream. Fuck <laughs> one with 5,000 bits. No message, just bits. Well, goddamn, thank you so much. Akinoris, thank you so much for the bits as well. Swolf95 with 1,000 bits. Yay, new channel. Thank you so much. Uh, I got to think. I got really got ordering through this, guys. Blackwing Hell, with 1,000 bits. Where? But where did they get the jeans? Jeans, Steelers. Alita Starshine with 5,000 bits. <laughs> 
birthday bits and sub bob celebrate my b day with all of you since we are in quarantine here lns Surge, i thank you so much for the for the bits and the subs god damn pyro theory with five thousand bits on top of that didn't mean to leave you out of the mental image on saturday bosco i'm sure you're just as good at throat singing as arkoff or connor Interesting, interesting flex, but okay then. 5,000 bits from Pyrotherian. Thank you. Fusebox08 with 1,000 bits. No message, just bits. Well, thank you, Fusebox08. Flame Master 9 with another 1,550 bits. No, you better marry that snake. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, Flame Master 9, we'll try our best here. And we have Solar Admiral RJ with 1,000 bits. Taco Bosco and Connor, if you got a choice between doing the English dub voice of Kate Sith, uh, 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 we, we, want, we want to be cast as everything. That's the default answer. Give us all the work. Solar Admiral RJ with a thousand bits. Thank you so much. Daisy Head with a fifteen hundred bit snake. Take thought. Titty whippings in mini in mini jean skirt. Oh, there we go. Monster. Everyone knows what's up. There we go. Yeah, yeah, Daisy Head. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Back R twenty with a thousand bits to the new Twitch channel. Well, thank you very much. Uh, but the spot Midnight White. So does Jay. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, uh, Blackwing Hellkite with a thousand bits. No message. Just right. thank you so much to Blackwing Hellkite. JMP. We need to cut it off here. I. Really? I know, I know we have stuff left, but we have to cut it off here. Uh, like, I, give I, you, I, I gave I, you 15 minutes, and I, it's been 15 minutes. So. Can I count off, count off three more? Just sure. three more? Big, big uh, ones really quick. Ball Honkinator with 10,000 bits. Belated congrats on the one year sobriety talk. I get them bit badges somehow. Absolutely. Improved furball. 5,000 bits just because. Well, damn it. Thank you so much. And to Moz with 50,000 bits. Jesus. Oh, can we get a round of applause? Thank you so freaking much, Moz, for the 50,000 bits. Hi, guys. Been watching since y'all got that owlbear rug. I've been watching the TFS group since high school after a friend introduced me to the Christmas Tree of Might movie. All of y'all have given me a lot of laughs through rough anxiety, especially now as I'm trying to salvage my wedding plans amid the current <laughs> pandemic. Shut up and take my bits. You guys deserve it. Okay. Moz, thank you so much. This is what you do. You grab that wedding ring, all right? You throw it at her feet or his feet, depending on what the situation is. And you look at them dead in the eye and you say, I challenge you to marriage. And boom, you're married. Done. You're welcome. Marriage is easy. God so damn. Easy. And That's whoever funny. survives is married. Exactly. What the shit? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a Marriage minute. is easy, Gordon. All right. Uh, before we start, uh, just really quick, I just want to give a special shout out to Citra King, who did this amazing new overlay for the Unexpectables. Shout out to him. He actually has been helping me. Like, he's helped me with the Prince Division and with this, like, literally, like, on the fly. He's been amazing. Thank you so much, Citra King. You saw me when I was stressed out of my gourd, so I really appreciate all the effort you've, you've done to make this come to life. Uh, additionally, I would like to thank our mod team, uh, Colonel Sheru, Shahalem. Uh, PM Ghost, everybody, all the mods. I wish I could list out off your names, but thank you guys so much for helping us set this all up, and thank you so much for being great. Uh, and an additional thank you to Alex uh, at Twitch, who helped us set up this channel. Uh, I've been working well, with him. I had, to, I, had to, I had to send him a thank you card and his team a thank you card because they actually really, really helped us out with this channel. They they had it so we could have all our emotes on here. So Are, are you going to wax seal it? Oh, Gaijin. <laughs> No, it'll show up like 30 days later, dude. Come on. I don't, I don't think it's going to Texas. So I think it should be okay. But <laughs> thank, you, thank you so much to Alex and uh, the Twitch crew. Uh, thank you guys so much for helping us out, set this all up. But now we have some important stuff to deal with as we jump into today's episode. You guys oh, ready? No. You guys ready? Yeah. Alex? Yeah. When last we left our heroes, Task the Cobalt Ranger, Panic the Tiefling Bard, Borky the Orc Barbarian, Remy the Kenku Fighter, and Greckles the Kenku Rogue, the party is in a pursuit of a lead, calling Task the Mysterious Mountain of Repetition, a strange, mysterious land apparently occupied by silver kobolds. After meeting with the Orc tribe to the northwest, the Iron Claws, the party set forward through a narrow mining cave apparently occupied by sentient, aggressive living rocks. After heeding the advice of the Iron Claws, the party was promptly ambushed and trapped by the elusive rocks. And now, as the sound of stone meets metal, the party is met with a terrible slate. Roll initiative. Oh my god. Uh, you had to do a pun? No, nice. delete the channel. <laughs> delete the channel. I 15. can't. Kurt, right. suck it up and roll. Run oh, it back. No. We'll do it live. <laughs> All right. Fuck it. We'll do it live. So I'm just going to ask for everybody's patience here as I set oh, up. Fuck. Of course. Of course. 15 or I get the two. Natural Ooh, 20. Good God. Borky got that natural 20, baby. Uh, 13. 
I always do really shit on initiative. Oh, no, Bosco. Never mind. <laughs> it's a natural one. Oh, it's Woo! fine. We got it. Oh. My god, it's a rock and it's giant. Come back, Monty. We need you to tell us what happens to Bosco. And, man, man, and here here I was about I to fucking go. No, nothing happens when you fail. You just go last. You, just, you explode immediately and die instantaneously. No, you roll explode 20. and die immediately. Stop collapsing my music. Roll 20. I'm going to fight roll 20. I'm going to find where roll 20 Oh, goes. man. Let's Can I take pets? No, let's do pay-per-view. Let's give it to Charlie. Everybody gets one guess what Remy's first thing is going to be, and the first guess doesn't count. Die. Right. Then why guess? Exactly. Let me know if the music <laughs> plays for you guys. There we go. There we go. Sound good? Yeah. yeah. Let me know Old if chat likes, likes the sound. This is a classic. All right. So, our initiative rolls were... Ooh, natural 20 for Borky. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then we have yeah. Tass going next. And then we have uh, Greggles. Sorry, I just saw Borky there, and I was like, oh, it was a tie, but it wasn't. Greggles. To be fair, we're all in really good positions. Panic. And Remy. We got natural one. All right. <sighs> okay. Not bad. Uh, okay. <gasps> so You're going to die, Rock. <laughs> So Correct. all these these very sizable rocks come tumbling out of the walls. Some of them are brandishing like uh, spades, like gardening spades, and like <laughs> blunt pieces of wood. <laughs> Volume boost a bit. Okay. I yeah, need just smidge, smidge. All right. Boost. How's that? How's that? We good? I don't know. Chat will tell us. Chat, um, they always tell us. They always tell us. <laughs> you. Um, your. Lizard hounds immediately are like frightened and kind of back up and good, they're good, kind good. of like freaking out a little bit. They're like <laughs> kind of looking at these rocks. Uh, Borky, you are up first as one of the rocks swings a spade at you and just misses and you just kind of turn to face it. <laughs> I'd like to kick the rock. All right, go ahead and make an armor Stupid attack rock. on the rock. What do I How roll for a kick? Uh, just a, just a, um, I'm gonna say, do you have athletics? Yeah, roll an athletics check to kick the rock. Are you trying to shove it or are you trying to hurt it? Kick it away. Can it be both? Okay. No, it has to be one or the other. Shove or get shove away. It. Okay, get away. Ten. Ten. Uh, you reach out with your leg and you kick the rock. The rest of you guys hear a sizable cracking noise uh -huh. as Borky's like leg makes this horrid noise as you try and kick the rock. The rock. <sighs> doesn't even move a centimeter as it stands <laughs> perfectly in place and you just oh. grab your ankle and just mm. ouch ouch oof my bones ah. <laughs> I, I cannot wait for one of these eggs to just start going one east egg one east egg one east no. egg no <laughs> oh, no uh that was your first attack <laughs> Borky, would you like to make another attack? Can I use okay, can I like I'm like I'm kinda like like Loki trying to like push it back. Can I try and calm my steed? Um, that, was acting. Be, that would be a full action to do, and you're already in the attack action. The only option you have to re to finish your action is to do another action, like a, like an attack or a shove okay. that you've done Bor before. Bor Borky reaches onto his shoulders where he keeps weapons, and everyone forgets he had a special weapon he's kept hidden for a long time. Borky pulls out the good old Dolmer Warhammer he used against him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. yeah Borky pulls out the little tiny little Warhammer. Stupid rock, you made me look bad. Right. And Borky hits it with the Warhammer. Okay. Oh. Go ahead and roll the hit with the Warhammer. That's a 23. That hits. That go go ahead and roll your damage there. I want to hit it like a like a polo, like I'm playing polo with it. Sure. I'm kidding me, Mallet. <laughs> Didn't you use that in the sunburn fight? Se yeah. Yeah, seven yeah. points of bludgeoning damage. It is not a magical weapon, but no. it is. As you guys hear another noise, like immediately a cracking noise, and then the sound, you ever like hit like a pole, like a like an iron pole with like, <laughs> like, like <laughs> a pole noise. Yep. Yep. Uh, that immediately is the sound that you hear. Is Borky, you, you do hit it, and a couple <laughs> of flakes come off of it, but your arms just start ricocheting and shaking as this gonging noise rings <clears throat> out. Bork, Bork, for flavor, can Borky hold off the mallet and going? <laughs> uh, you have your bonus action and your movement. I have a bonus action? I don't, I don't, I don't. 
I think you can do anything because you've you've used both your attacks and your. Yeah, I I, I, I guess weapon. for my bonus for my bonus action, I will say a very prophetic thing from Borky to everybody. The rocks are hard. <laughs> Borky goes into a rage. Good. <laughs> All right. Borky goes into a rage. All right, you go into a rage. Uh, task, it is now your turn. Uh, free action. Tell Avahi to get the fuck out of here. Okay. Uh, you uh, yell at Ivahi, you don't know if it registers in his lizard brain, but you're hoping. Well, I, I, yeah, all I can do is hope right now. Uh, so I'm gonna Hunter's Mark on the dude who's all the way to the bottom left. Okay, this one has uh, a stick. A sti oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Ah, uh, yes, I, as thank God we're prioritizing targets. Uh, the Roper Whip is coming out, because it does bludgeoning damage. Okay. Uh, alright, let's go, yeah. plus nine to hit. 12. 12, you swing out with the Roper Whip and you like grab a section of its arm and then just pull that piece of rock out and it kind of like scatters against the floor as you bring back the whip. And the rock just looks down and just grabs another rock and puts it back into place and looks at you <laughs> with no eyes. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be spiteful and slap the fucking, the, slap the piece of rock that he picked up out of his hand with a Roper Whip again. Okay, go ahead. What are we doing? Why do we do it? 15. Uh -huh doesn't hit unfortunately as you go to like throw oh, the rock fuck. at him it bounces against the surface of the top of this this boulder and it just completely is unfazed look man i i'm i'm of the mindset that these things are fucking stone piercing and slashing ain't doing shit <laughs> Alrighty, that brings us to the rock's turn uh greckles immediately uh, <laughs> uh the rock gets eaten <laughs> this rock has, it has it can it has no stomach this oh, rock has no. another rock that it's using as a weapon Excellent. no <laughs> now now i, I need sense. to ask a question does the smaller rock have a frowny face on it does I it have angry brows no but they 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 despite having no features they look aggressive <laughs> <laughs> something something Get him, Jeremy. They're literally fucking... standing there menacingly. It's like it's literally happening, guys. Uh, that is fucking... gonna be a, that's gonna be a 27 to hit you. Well, of course that hits Monty. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> she could have asked you if it hit you in the most, the most passive aggressive thing she could ask. <laughs> uh, you take 14 points of bludgeoning damage as it swings and bashes the rock over your head. <laughs> He's got uh, jumps, Jesus. <laughs> okay, so, hang on. Um. I'm actually, I'm actually going to uh, give a little bit of a dodge to glance half damage off. Okay, uncanny dodge. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, the second rock that's in front of you, Borky, uh, having been completely unfazed by your assault, uh, grabs the garden spade and swings it at you. Uh, I just is... imagine stabbing me like a tonberry. I don't know why. It's just... Yeah. Uh, that's a twelve, which I don't think hits you. No. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, it goes it goes for a stab and you sidestep it and avoid being stabbed. Dab. Uh, uh Borky's eyes go in that anime cutscene style. Damn, it moves quick. <laughs> uh this rock in front of you, Task, gets down and begins to roll aggressively towards you. <laughs> oh god <laughs> damn it! <laughs> It springs up into the air with its giant stick and is going to try and hit you. Oh, what is uh, happening? That is, that is also going to be a 27 to hit. Yeah, I think that hits. <laughs> Could be wrong. I'm really loving this engagement, guys. Uh, I'm not that is lie. 15 points of bludgeoning damage as you are bashed against the side by this by the stick. Alrighty. Uh, that ends the rock's turn. Excellent. Uh, Greckles, it is now your turn. Uh, in one swift motion, uh, since the since the sunblade is already out, Greckles is going to pincer the rock that so rudely beat him with another rock uh, between himself and Remy, mm -hmm. uh, and um, let's bring out a good old crescent slash of the sunblade. Uh, radiant damage, by the way, just just for clarification. <clears throat> Come on, roll twenty. Sixteen. Just hits. Excellent. Nice. And you uh, get sneak attack. So. Yeah. Oh, that. Oh, Wait, is this? Yeah, this is also flanking technically. Okay, never mind. Sorry. Yeah, okay, no, so five feet. that is nine plus. Uh, kaboom. Nine. That'll be thirty-one points of damage. Holy shit! Okay, one second. Let me just calculate this really fast. <laughs> the rock just explodes. <laughs> I mean, it is a lightsaber coming down on it. <laughs> you manage to shear off a decent chunk of it as you bring down the sun blade. Uh, the light almost carving through the rock, almost like, you know, when you see high pressure water cutting through rock. Mm -hmm. Perfect clean cut as, as part of it slays off and lands <clears throat> to the side. 
Um, let's see here. So that was movement action. Um, is it a free action to try and get our, our lizards to get away, or will that be the bonus That's action? That's an action to calm them down, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, in that case, with the bonus action, I'm going to do an offhand attack, if that's all right. Go ahead, yeah. Okie doke. Oh, jeez. Natural oh, 20! Natural 20. Natural 20 on the wrong attack. On the wrong fun. attack, but hey, it's still something. So go ahead so, and roll your damage, so... and I'll, I'll calculate it here. Yeah. So that's going to be... Okay, not bad. That's six plus one, so that's seven, seven. points of damage to it, yep. which is which is not nothing to sneeze at, so... 38 you points. You carve into it again with the offhand swing, and you take another chunk of rock off of it. He tries to pick up the same rock, and you just slap it out of his hand. <laughs> no, I just, just no. I imagine he picks up his body and uses it as a weapon. <laughs> He's, if he didn't already have a rock that's really good for hitting people, he probably would invest. Uh, all right, that's that end, turn. Yeah. Does that end your turn? All right, I'm yeah. gonna roll wisdom saving throws for all of your lizard hounds at once. Oh no, oh. they're not smart. That's a natural oh. one. They oh, God. immediately begin to panic. Um, these two, actually Borky, Green is going to run away and begin <gasps> scratching like a dog at the door. Uh, which is Great, gonna, no! Which is going to give uh, the rock an opportunity to attack with the spade. Uh, that is going to be a 23 to hit Green. Jeez. So I need you to check Green's stats real fast for me. Should be 12, big dude. Oh, shit. Uh, not a great roll. 10 well, points of damage. Alpha. 10 points ah, of damage to green. <gasps> Damn it. <clears throat> that, that blows. Did you write? All right. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to find where that was on the... Uh, where it should it? be it's, under your character sheet. Uh, it should be under player characters, and Lizard Hounds is a drop-down menu there. And green is there. So oh, green I got has... A, I, you gotta keep tabs on it manually. Yes. No, 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 no. Sorry. I, and my entire character sheet just disappeared. I don't know what just happened. Sorry, I gotta reload it here. So you said ten points of damage? Yeah, yes, my character so... sheet has my character sheet has nothing on it. What? Yeah, take a look. I might have to reload. Oh no, there it is. There, there it is. Oh jeez. You were on the spell sheet, Kurt. You weren't even on your character sheet. You're on spells. Uh, okay. um, it's not. It's not on your character sheet, Kurt. It's it's up above on the drop down menu where it says player characters, and you drop down the menu. There's lizard hounds there. Thank you, you drop down Thank there, and you I, I green. apologize. Thank so you. So green much, green has 37 hit points. They yep. just took 10, so they're down to 27 Damn. hit points. Thank you for sorry. <sighs> they're beefy boys that? and girls. Mm -hmm. It's okay, dude. Just relax, Kurt. All right. Uh, Avahi and Judas uh, immediately run to, they do not take opportunity attacks as they run southwards oh, no. to the okay. other part, and they just begin digging oh. at the rock, <clears throat> panicked and screaming. <laughs> they do not like an enclosed space. Mm -hmm. uh, that ends the lizard hound's turn. Panic! Uh, as we reach your turn, you notice with your with your detect magic that all three of these rocks have conjuration magic attached to them. You can just see inside of them that there's like this little wisp of con uh, conjuration magic. Connor? Yeah, uh, I'm oh. trying to think of what to say. Okay. I think something's controlling these rocks or I think something summoned them. Uh... The earth. <laughs> All right, let's let's back off, everybody, and I'm going to uh, bonus action. I'm going to use a use of my bark inspiration to activate mantle of inspiration. Uh, everybody gets da, 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 da. <clears throat> uh, eight temporary hit points, and you can use your reaction to. to I re recommend this. I will do so, and I have advantage to the thing has disadvantage because of my feature to you hit. You don't me. get it. You don't get attacked because of mantle of inspiration. Actually, mantle of inspiration. Lets oh, you move oh. Back, back, yes. free movement. No, so. no risk. So, I, I, how much? How much? How much free movement do we have? Thirty. Uh, equal to the movement you have as a character. Mm. So you have forty feet, Kurt. No, uh, uh, yeah. I'm gonna also gonna head up towards green. Uh, Remy, does Remy want to move as well? I'm gonna be the last one to move because I need to see where everybody moves so I can. Uh, I cannot move because I used my reaction already. 
Oh, well. Is that where you're going, Connor? Is down there? Hmm. Oh, I'm just I'm measuring. Okay. Things will happen. I bet. Uh, can Volo move instead of Greckles then? Because Volo's there, and Volo maybe should leave. <clears throat> I mean, every it's every creature, so he could technically leave. Uh, although I'm gonna have him follow me, depending upon what direction I go. Also, uh, Monty, where's Hanzaki at? Uh, I don't oh. think you made him. <laughs> You're missing one. <laughs> I'm sorry. He, was... he would be. He would be here too. He's up at the. the I'm sorry, the Greckles. The rocks got him. Uh, <laughs> is, that where panic, is that where he moved? Hmm. Is that where panic moved for his uh his reaction? Panic's moving oh, to the center, say, the center of the chamber, just for the podcast. I'm, I moved before. I moved before. Oh, got I, it. Okay. Uh, then I, if that's I where you're going to be, then I'm going to move here, and Volo's going to come with me. Okay. Clip, clip, clop. I'm just. Thank you. Trying to. Um. And I don't think these things can quite hear me, so they're not really affected by a lot of my more damaging stuff, but. <laughs> We, we don't know anymore, man. We're playing with forces of, of, of unknown origin. Since we lost what they're capable of. Yeah. All right. In a 20-foot cube, since... Uh, all right, I'm fairly certain Greg can handle this. Uh, He's fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to... Oh, God. This will actually catch a lot of people. Um... Shit, this is a very tight space. All right. Uh, uh, okay, it's going to it's going to catch Remy, Greckles, and Borky in it, but I'm going to cast Fairy Fire. Okay. I need everyone to make dexterity saving throws. Uh, those that yep. were mentioned. Four. You fail. It just lights you up, right? Seventeen. Yeah. That's fine. You six. You. Ooh, um, that mashes, so you succeed? Yay! <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's how it worked. Two of the rocks are unaffected. The one closest to Greckles is a disco ball now. It almost looks Son like... Son of a bitch. Reports. Yeah, they're actually fairly nimble as they dodge your spell. Well. Bork, um, did Borky have to roll, well, too? Yeah, yeah, Borky, you have to roll a... Uh, deck save. His advantage on it, at least. Throw. I do have advantage on it. You know, you know I, what's coming. Yep, yep. a deck saving sense. throw, and here we go. And yeah, and that is a ten. ten. Nope, you're also affected. Great. All right, I'm just gonna dismiss it. But then. All right, you cancel it, and immediately all the yep. just like it's like a weird rave, and then it just suddenly goes away all of a sudden. It was a good call. Yeah. They rolled, well, a, they rolled a natural 18 and one rolled a natural 20. I'm really sorry. The other one rolled a four. Rocks, man. All right. Oh, man. You cast scissors. That's what happened. Well, everybody's got temporary hit points now, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. All right. Does that end your turn, Panic? Yep. Okay. Remy, it is now your turn. Uh, Remy's going to full defense right where he is and speak. Okay. Okay. Uh, Panic, if they were summoned with conjuration magic, you might be able to dispel them if you can. Uh that's that's a negative, buddy. Oh. Where's I did K not when memorize you memorize that spell? Meanwhile, back in Alabas, K is just like doing paperwork and sneezes. Never mind, I lied. Wait. Oh. Did you lie? Yes. You lie! Thank you. I was like, Connor, I'm pretty sure you have this fucking spell, please. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a different spell. I thought it was Dissonant Whispers. I said Dispel, not Dissonant. <laughs> <laughs> you it starts with this. Are you? Panic on all them, you beautiful bastard. Children. Yeah. Children. Yeah, I'm wacky. <laughs> all, right. all right, that's my turn. Ready. That's your turn? Okay, Borky, it is now your turn. All right, Borky, I would like to use that action to try and calm down. Like, Can I only try and calm down one of them? One yeah, of the... only one at a time. Well, I'm going to try and calm down mine really quickly. Um, All right, so that will be a handle animal to try and calm them down. Oh, wait, no, I just raged. Hold on one second, sorry. Uh, oh, yeah, you can angrily right. calm, calm them down. down. <laughs> calm down, calm down. <laughs> Borky just like a ba just backhand with raid? No, no, no. Um, Borky uh, just sees that 
the, the dog's just trying to scratch to get out, but you can't pay attention to it. Otherwise, it'll know you can get it'll get to you. So Borky about faces and char slides in right beside Grackles. Yeah. All right. And uh, if you move, oh, one second. If you move one more space, you can flank. Yeah, you might want to flank it up, buddy. The game Whoop. plus two. Oh, thank you very much for the thank you, God. One, one, one and more, then Borky hears the voice of God. There you, there you go. go. There you go. Murder sandwich. Don't forget. Murder sa Borky goes into a murder sandwich. Okay, then. Uh, Borky goes into a murder sandwich with the help of God himself. Uh, and Borky <clears throat> brings out the... He's still got the Warhammer, and Borky's going to swing home. All right. Go ahead. 16. Just hits. Oh, beautiful. And that is 9 plus 3, 12 points of damage. As you swing and hit this thing, it doesn't seem to be working all that well. Huh. I think these things are magical. Uh, that's good work. No shit! <laughs> oh! Borky tries to hit it harder. Literally right. just said that, Borky. Oh, Go ahead. God. Go ahead and make a second attack. Yes. 13. Doesn't hit, unfortunately. That's actually 15. Plus That's plus actually 15. Doesn't, it still doesn't hit. It doesn't hit with a 15, ah. unfortunately. Yeah. Well, actually, <laughs> it's... Well, this has been a great combat section for me right now. I'm not going to lie, guys. I really love that I... A bunch I really... of, who, will, who will win? A bunch of heroes of the city or some Rocky boys? All right. Uh, Borky, that ends your turn. Yup. All right. Task, it is now your turn. going to calm down, Avahi. All right. Go ahead and roll a handle animal. Handle animal, kablam! Okay. Knock it off! <laughs> Jesus. Fifteen. All right. He 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 smartens up and he turns around and he looks calm. <laughs> Just with a huge red welt on his cheek. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus Christ. I'm just I'm just, I'm just imagining Task right now as. As, as the dog whisperer. Like, yes! Uh, what I gotta do is just smack it. All, all, you, all you gotta do is just pinch it in the back of the head. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. Ava, Avahi turns around and seems receptive. Still freaked out, but receptive. Good. Then stay there, you little idiot. Uh, can I do anything else? That was your action. You have your bonus action and your movement. Oh! Ball sack. I don't have anything else I could do at this moment. And I'm gonna okay. keep uh, I'm gonna keep my uh, magic on. Okay, uh, it is now the rock's turn. Uh, I have a quick question, actually. Yes. I am. Wait a minute. Um, shit. Never mind. I wasn't in range. All right, go ahead. Okay. Uh, it is now the rock's turn. Greckles, the rock between you and Borky has got that rock, and it still wants to womp you with it. Yo, let's go. <laughs> Uh, that he is said gonna be, before dying. That is going to be an 18 to hit. That will hit. Okay. I'm going to break it. I'm going to break it. I'm going to break the east egg. That's going to be 12 points of bludgeoning damage as you're bashed in the head with a rock again. <laughs> I will, I will, uh, since it's topped around, I will, I will shift slightly to the left and only take it to the shoulder. <laughs> only take it to the foot. Where your, just, your beak, like, just kind of, you know, one of those, it just completely opens at, like, a 180-degree angle. Just like, ah! <laughs> and then, like, the, the, tongue, the tongue is a zigzag. Exactly. A zigzag. Like a Pez dispenser, his mouth no. opens. <laughs> the, the, tongue, the tongue actually sp spells rock. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. The other rock in front of Remy uh, is going... Actually, I'm going to... What's her... You know, I'm going to roll intelligence for a rock. Oh, what? okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, Remy, you get an attack of opportunity as the rock decides to flank Borky. Uh, what? Okay. Uh, this is with advantage. Let's see. Maybe I'll hit with advantage. Why do you 16. have advantage? Oh, because of uh, weapon mastery. It gives me oh, advantage okay. on... Uh, uh, 16 hits. Opportunity. Yay! Mm -hmm. I do damage. That's scary. You're, you're, us you're using the Hoketh blade, right? Correct. Okay. 10. 10 points of slashing damage, very nice. Uh, it still runs over to Borky to flank uh, and has that piece of wood, that stick, and it's gonna go right for uh, right for Borky. You're taking a board with a nail in it. Board with a nail in it. <laughs> uh, 24 to hit you, Borky. Oh my sweet God, yes. 
Uh, okay, that's uh, 12 points of bludgeoning damage to you, which is halved, so six yeah. points because you're aging. Yes. Uh, this other rock with the spade is gonna just join his friends and beat <laughs> oh, Daddy. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Borky's just surrounded by rocks. Don't like, give it to you. I like to imagine. Borky, clear, Borky clearly has the treats in his pocket. Okay, that's what's happening. Uh, oh that's a, that's a twenty-three to hit you. <sighs> oh my god! Yeah. They're, rolling, they're <laughs> rolling really well. Oh, are they? I bet they are. They're rocks and they're rolling towards us. <laughs> Keep uh, rolling. Nice. rolling. That's going to be 14 points of bludgeoning that damage. That does not... Oh, wait, that does. Reduced down to seven points. One, two. You guys who are in the cave, just you guys just watch as Borky is just getting, like... Un, you know, like, gifts of people just getting punched, like, it's over and over again? It's, it's the JoJo curb stop. It's, yeah. it's the JoJo scene. It's literally the JoJo scene. It really the rock sipped, the, the rock sipped some rock and then put the rock down and just... <laughs> You're the biggest target, and they don't like you. Uh, I want to see art of this so bad now. Is it wrong that I'm just imagining the sound sounds like this? Ah, son of a... God damn it, guys! We need a strategy! All right, that ends the rock's turn. It is now Greco's turn. Oh, shit, it's Stone Cold Steve Austin's turn now. Uh, I will, I will, I will remember that, Taka. So, Greco's, Greco's gonna quickly just shake off his foot get the pain out and just go in for another quick little slash of that uh, sunblade. So that will be as soon as we're That That is hits. 18 to hit. Yep, that hits. So eight plus okay. sneak attack damage. Sneak attack. Wow. Uh, damn. That's another 30... 31. 31 points of damage. Holy crap. Yeah, you slash you slash into this rock and you make it drop it the weapon rock that it's carrying and just half of it's slayed off and it's kind of staggering on two legs at this point. It's looking pretty rough. It's barely there. What? Yeah. Okay, okay, we're gonna bring okay, just just overhead offhand slash just to bring it freaking down. Alright, go ahead. Let's see here. That oh that's a 20. Yeah, it's a big Abs absolutely. Go ahead and roll damage. Uh, that is eight. Eight? It's still kicking. It's oh my god! Around. Fuck! Yeah, it's still rolling around and it's Jesus. still flailing. I uh, imagine it's just a pair of legs right now. See, what you're doing shoes. is yeah. you're breaking it apart and you're just making more rocks appear. <laughs> <laughs> no! We don't need uh, we don't need a Fantasia situation here. That ends your turn, Greckles? Yes, it does. All right, that brings us to the Lizard Hounds. Uh, they're all panicked except for Ivaki. Uh, could someone quickly give me the movement for the Lizard Hounds real fast? Sure thing! I got you. Uh, the movements of the Lizard Hounds are 40 with a climb speed of 30. Okay, so they can... Just cling to the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna actually do, like, a wall jump and just get here. Uh, they're kind of barreling towards... Wait, that's Avahi. Yeah, Avahi's running. Oh, now I... that you've calmed them. Oh, oh, he's getting out of the fight. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, no, he's going towards the fight. He's ready to fight. No, you oh. idiot! I told you to fight! <laughs> I, 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 we, boy, oh, boy, what a session to really inaugurate the channel. With, uh, it, is, it is quintessential. <laughs> Why are you stupid idiot? Actually, Abba, he's going to dash. Just... What are you doing? Uh, where where no. would he dash to? No, no, you fucking... No, you fucking idiot! We have the, we have the ultimate flank. Thanks, Sandra. They're flying conga line. He's dumb. I'm sorry. They have an intelligence. No, no, no. I, low. I get it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm dumb. fucking laughing my they're ass off. Really they all got the, their eyes blink out of sequence, guys. Okay. <laughs> all right. Panic. It is now your turn. Oh, God. Uh, uh, all right. Taking the hint from Remy, he's going to be like, hey, and he's going to point to the rock that's right uh, beside Borky, not not sandwiching him. The, the one with the spade that's been like stabbing at him? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Does he turn to look at me? Oh yeah, the whole body turns. He's holding the spade. It's very weird. Off, and I'll cast <laughs> dispel magic. Okay, could you click dispel magic for me? Absolutely. Uh, choose one creature, object, or magical effect within range. Any spell of third level or lower on the target ends. For each spell of fourth level or higher on the target, it must make an ability check using the spell casting ability. The DC equals ten plus the spell's level. Yeah, actually, that totally works. Yeah, you watch as the rock just crumbles to the ground, and the the little spade clang 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 lands on the ground. Well, shit, <laughs> boy, it's like Remy's not stupid or something. Just dust his hands. 
Uh, yep, I did it again. Uh, <laughs> hmm, what now? What now? Uh, that was my action. What can I do for a bonus action? Uh, oh, I can't do that unless it's a cantrip, actually. Um, to think shyster. we're in the Dwayne hole, guys. This is useless. <laughs> um, I'm gonna give some bardic inspiration to Task. Away! Task and Kobold in the cave. Task and Kobold fighting rocks with friends. Avahi, get back here! <laughs> Yell at lizards! Stupid fuck! <laughs> well, get out of here if we have any luck. Da, right. da, 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 da. Oh, we're done. Okay. You're Remy. inspired. Remy, it's now your turn. Great. So I have a very important question. Yes. There's a mount in front of me. Yeah. I get on the mount and attack this thing. Is that doable? When you when you mount a creature, it takes half your movement to mount them. So yes, you can mount a, a Vahi if you wish, wish to. Great. Remy's going to make it look stylish. He's not going to actually sit. He's just going to get... Okay, he's going to... Get back here. Thank I need you. to put you at the front. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. That's Done. my boy, Bosco. Chill out now. Yeah, he's not even going to sit. Um, he's going to stand just, on the saddle. Just, and... just for flavor, roll a performance check just to see how graceful this is. <laughs> Excellent. It, oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Eight. Eight. You, like, clamor on, and he, like, he hisses at you because he doesn't know you that well. And, like, gets distracted by the rock kind of, like, punching him in the face and turns back to that because it's more immediate of a threat, but he's not happy with you on his back. <laughs> You're on Remy his He doesn't back. care. And now that he's there, he's going to swing twice. Okay. Don't forget your pluses. Avahi looks at you jealously. 22, that hits. Okay. Seven. Seven. All right. One second, just let me calculate damage here. All right. Oh, that's also booming blade. Hang on, I got to roll my D8. Uh, one second. <clears throat> blah, blah, blah. And that's going to be an extra <laughs> magical roll, you stupid eight. Ooh, nice. nice. That's thunder damage, Very isn't it? Nice. That, uh, I believe it is thunder damage. Ah, uh, uh, types are resistant. As you, as you hit it with the thunder damage, doesn't do anything different. It's not resistant or vulnerable to it. It just okay. kind of takes huh. the hit like a person would. Got it. Let me make sure it is, in fact, thunder. I just want to double check. It is... Da, 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 Ooh, yeah, like, thunder, it, thunder damage. It is thunder, okay. yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm pretty sure cool. it is. All right, and then the second swing is... 18, 20, 20. soft 20. So that, that hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. Five. Five. Very nice. You slash twice, and, like, with the stick, it kind of blocks your swings, and you're just kind of, like, flailing at it wildly, like, with, with expert attention. But for some reason, this boulder, despite being a boulder, is like parrying and like swinging at you, and you're like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> like it's got right. some skills. Does it look like it's beat up? Uh, it looks damaged. There's chunks missing out of it, but it still seems like in the fight. It's very determined, despite okay, having. Okay, so face. I used five to get there, and then fifteen to get on. So I'm gonna use <clears> five <throat> to get off of this thing. Okay. Uh, it takes half your movement to dismount as well. Oh shit! All right. So, well then, I, yeah. I guess I'm gonna stand would you like take a badass then. Yeah. Would you take an opportunity attack if you did that? If he leaves the 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 melee space, then yes, he would. So he would I would, but I can't though. do it anyway because I can't dismount. Yeah, you can't dismount right now. Um, so he's standing on this mount, not sitting on it, because it looks badass. That's his turn. <laughs> All right, Get the fuck Bork off my lizard hound. Bork Shut up! It's turn. useful for a stool. Borky, it is now your turn. <laughs> I've had it. Holy smart this one. With these mother freaking rocks in his mother freaking cave. <laughs> Borky takes his warhammer and just swings down at the rock, wielding another rock. Okay. With all his rage. That is a soft 20. That hits. Bonk. Bonk on the head. 11 you points of damage. absolutely shattered the remains of this rock, who is barely being held together. You son of a freaking tired of all this crap. Borky swings at the other one. All right. It's another one. I Come on. Come on, mom and dad's internet. Do it for me. Yeah, 11, oh, 13, 11. Oh, doesn't you, matter. You kind of yeah. go with like a golf swing and you hit the rock and it actually like you jettison it and it crashes into a Vahi. Doesn't hurt him, but it just kind of gets like pushed into a Vahi and a Vahi pushes it back into you. And there's kind of this moment where it's like high school, you guys are like shoving this rock between the two of you. Borky just puts the hammer over his shoulder. I'm gonna need a seven iron for that shot, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, uh, I assume that ends your turn, Borky. 
Yes, it does. All right, Task, it is now your turn. Now, if I was a vindictive man, how how fucking pissed would Remy be if I got on Vol? Extremely. Ah, good. That's so nice. I'm going to <laughs> move over here and take pot shots. I don't know if it's going to do anything to actually hurt this thing, but it's worth a shot, and it gives me a plus 11 to actually hit it. Okay. Silver arrows, here I go. Ooh. Nat 20. Ooh, there we go. Damn. Damn. Oh and that's with Colossus Slayer and Hunter. Yeah, go ahead, roll your damage there. It's all doubled. All right, so there with a that's six a and an eight. eight. Uh, roll another d6 for me. Ah, oh, balls. <clears throat> Two, one, and then roll another d6 and a d8 because you crit. Oh, sure, 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 sure. Yeah, Sorry. Damage, damage dice, I believe, are doubled. There we go. Wrong. There it is, 11. Seven. Very nice. One second, let me calculate all this. Let's do 10. That's going to be... I can't math. 22. 11. It's okay. 22. You can't math. 22 points of damage. Uh. You shoot it, and it's a very good shot, but it doesn't seem to do all that much damage to it. Oh. even as expertly the shot is. But the bolt is stuck in it, and you watch as it reaches up to try and pull the bolt out, and it can't. So it's oh, cool. kind of confused. Are those silver tipped? Yes. I don't uh, know if that matters. Yeah, I, it, look, look I, I, I'm, I'm just fucking throwing science at the wall and seeing what sticks. So I'm going to take another shot at that thing's hand as it reaches the bolt. All right, go ahead. 28. 28. A absolutely, that hits. Out here rolling 28s and 30s, damn. All right, let me do that, and then a six. Oh, wait, 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 sorry, take the first one. That was yeah. a double roll, I apologize. 10 plus three, so 13. All right, very nice. <clears throat> you strike it again, and you, you, this one doesn't stay. It takes a chunk out, but the bolt, like, kind of clatters to the stone ground. It's nice to know that my fucking arrows can actually do something, though. That's real cool. All righty, that brings us around to the rock's turn. There's only one. <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm going to roll one. for rock intelligence. Uh, ah, yes. <laughs> Good old rock. Nothing breaks that. It's going to go for you again, Borky, because you've taken the most damage. In <laughs> <Fun novelty. laughs> what are you going to do? Combat just pauses. It puts its hand on its do? chin. What are you going to do? Hit me with a rock? Uh, 25 to hit you. He hit you with a rock. Uh, he did hit me with a rock. He he's did about to do hit it. you with a big stick. Like it looks like a support <laughs> beam is what he's hitting you with. Fucking Jesus! With a real spike at fucking the end. Girder. These are medium-sized creatures, right? Yeah, they're medium-sized, but they're tall. They're like maybe like six feet tall, almost. Like they're human Oh, I thought they were just tiny little. I thought they were. I thought they were just tiny little geodudes no. with tiny little legs. No, these things are like sizable. <laughs> Oh. Uh, they didn't well, roll super great, though. Uh, you take eight points of bludgeoning damage, which is reduced down to four as it swings feebly at you. What are you hit me in the head? Ah, oh, son of a... <laughs> uh, Greckles, it is now your turn. Um, I cannot flank, can I? Because of how we're currently situated. No, you can't. Uh oh. Could yeah. You uh, no, I, I can't occupy the people. Could could I could I possibly leap off of Borky and attack from that space, or is that you know just what? physically impossible? Sure, for fun. I would, I would allow it. Oh, that's Let's... our move. How dare you? Yeah, you're too far south. I mean, get the fuck off of Vahi. <laughs> <laughs> do I do I need do I need a roll like a, a dex check I'm, or anything? I'm gonna say roll an acrobatics check. I'm good at those. Hopefully, good enough. He says twenty five. Yeah. Very yeah, you're good. good. You, Borky, as you're standing there, you run up the the corpse, quote unquote, of the boulder that you you just killed, and you run up that, and then run up the Borky, rubble. and you jump, and you kind of like double dagger, run down, and go ahead and roll your attack there with All plus right. two. Let's get that swing and sun blade going. Uh, that yeah, a hit. lot. Go ahead, you get seek attack Six as well. Plus, come on, roll twenty. There we go. 14, so 20 points 20 of damage. 20 points of damage. Not bad. You come down and you swing and you kind of tumble mm -hmm. uh, off, not super gracefully. And Avahi snarls at you as you kind of like bring yourself back up to your feet. And Avahi's like, <sighs> kind of hisses and like spits in your face a little bit. Uh, don't even happy. pay it. Don't even pay attention. All right. That was your attack. I'm going to say just for the acrobatics, that's going to take sure. your bonus action. Just oh, that's fine. That's fine. Just to um, tell you what. Um, <clears throat> Since I'm not in a good spot, I do have my movement, and I did hit it, so mobile goes off. I'm actually gonna hop over, over to the right, about okay. 20 feet, and then that'll be turned. 
All right. Uh, task, because you roll a, a bite attack for Avahi for me. Absolutely. So mm-hmm. that is a 1d20 plus 3. Yeah. Uh, here I go. Biting a rock. This will go well. Okay. 20. Soft that's, 20. That's Damn, a soft 20. You wanna, do you want to roll damage for the bite sure attack? Sure thing. Uh, for the bite, it is... Oh, I'm sorry. It was actually plus 5, so that's actually 21. Uh, <laughs> with a reach of 5, target is a hit, so it's a 1d10 plus 3. Yeah. Nice. Big chomp. Six <laughs> points of damage from a body. Six-ching. Six points of damage. He bites in, and you hear this horrible noise. Oof. It's like... I mean, he's biting a rock, so yeah, a couple yeah, of, I, I'd assume. <laughs> a couple of teeth fall to the ground, but a couple of pieces of rock fall as well. As I mean, I, I, mean, I like, also kind of imagine that he'll, it'll just grow back. It's kind of <laughs> starts spitting a bit and kind of like snapping at his mouth, kind of like <laughs> like a dog that's eaten peanut butter. <laughs> uh, that's what Avahi's gonna do. The rest of the lizard hounds are still panicking, so they're they're just hiding. They're still scraping up against those walls. Uh, Panic, it is now your turn. Hmm. 20 this other rock and say, off. <laughs> no, don't burn it yet. <laughs> of the spell magic. All right. Dunk, dunk, dunk. The rock falls to the ground. As you make it, as you guys make it fall to the ground, uh, green and I always forget Greco's Hansa, Zaki. Hansa. Sorry, I always think of Hanzo, <laughs> which is not right. It's Hanzo, um, there you go. Oh. As, as you guys like finish off these rocks, Hanzaki and Green break down the wall ahead of you and disappear forward in the tunnel, running at full speed. Fuck. Immediately chase after? I was gonna say, Remy give is me, jumping give off. Me, give me one second here okay. just to switch some things over real fast. Because apparently, Roll20 loves to mess up my music real bad. <laughs> All right. How's that sound? Ambient sound good, guys? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. It looks okay. I'm just going to take us over to the starting ah. screen. All right. Ah! Okay. Oh, Let's ready. All right. All good? We'll find out soon enough. She's about to summon it. All right. So uh, Green and Hanzaki just like, just take off running. Like by the time you guys turn and look, they're gone. Okay, so first things first, Remy's jumping down, getting on Volo, and then 80 flight speed after them down that particular You tunnel. cannot fly in this tunnel. It is too small for flight. Curses! Well, well then he's since, sprinting after them with Volo. Yeah, since, yeah since, same. Me, since me and you have the mounts, uh, I'm going to get on Avahi and chase after. Uh, Panic, do you still have Detect Magic up? I do. Okay. As you guys take off down the tunnel, the tunnel is almost identical to the rest of the tunnel. It is a very bland, not very, you know hospitable mining shaft panic you begin to see like wisps of things as you guys progress further and further down running down this 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 narrow cave um it's not it's not a class of magic you know about so i'm gonna ask you to roll just a knowledge arcana okay knowledge arcana is gonna be Eight. Eight. You have no idea what this is at all. You've never uh, seen this before. It's almost like um, it doesn't even look like the wild magic you've seen before. Something about it is it's almost like like when you watch fungus like the fungus that kind of spreads over trees like growing slowly but it's kind of like breathing in a way just magically in and out almost like it's alive. <clears throat> <clears throat> Did you just follow? magic. Oh yeah. Uh, Judas okay. at the point, like the moment you guys were leaving, turned around and was like, arr, 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 and kind of just runs that, after a, you guys. That's a good boy, Judas. Yep. That's a good lizard. You smack him and he just seems offended. <laughs> <laughs> what well, 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 There's nothing personal no. about it. What the hell? I'm not, sm- I'm not smacking him, I'm just petting him. Meanwhile, I just fucking gave Avahi a welt on the side of the head and he's responding like, boy. 
Uh, Bork Borky is petting uh, Green very, very. Oh, Green's, Green's, Green's gone. gone. They're gone. That's who we're chasing. Oh, oh right. Okay. I, okay. I figured it's still. Damn it. All right. Yeah. yeah they, Bolo they, and I are still chasing after it. They've gone oh, full chasing. speed down. So you guys are chasing after it. Um, panic. The further and further you get, the more and more this this phenomenon appears. Yeah. Uh, it only lasts for an hour, so let me know along our travels when that is up. Okay, you guys are running for about probably five to six, seven minutes uh, until eventually you do come upon your guys' lizard hounds, which currently they're like, they're probably from like, they're, they're probably a good like half a foot. They're half a foot deep in the rock. Like it's like they've been pulled into the rock and are stuck there as they're like flailing and like actually panicking. Wait, they're pulled um, into it? Yeah, they've been pulled into the rock. Like, they're stuck there. Like, something grabbed all four of their paws and just dragged them into the rock. Like quicksand almost, stuck. right? Uh oh Check uh, the ground. It is solid rock. So. Oh, that's fucking... That's, all right, so I'm going to stop and before I go into that room. Yeah, ditto. The, the area is, like, pulsing with magic. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There, it's like you... It's like the whole thing now is just filled with this, like, constant... Knowledge vroom, Arcana? Vroom. Borky's still running, but Borky can't see that. Is it anyone shout out that it's magical? I figured, I, I figured someone would, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I would everyone have stop, there's some on, kind of magical this. effect in the next room. <laughs> like what? We're going to try to find out. Can we roll Knowledge Arcana if we have it? You guys don't see this, so you have no reference point for this. Um, I mean, P Panic can explain it if you guys would like to attempt with disadvantage. Uh, um, I'm willing to try. Okay, go ahead. I mean, I mean fuck it. There's no point in not trying. Nope, that's four. <laughs> uh, no I point. On the other no side, idea what in the world you're talking about. Oh, 14. 14, okay. Five. Anybody else? Borky, do you mm. want to try and bring both us? Disadvantage? There's just no, there's no way. Are you see? Oh. Oh, oh God. Oh. There was a natural 19. I just wasted a nat 20. I'm so mad. Am I still advantage? Am I still uh, counted? Task, actually. Actually, you would know about this task. It makes a lot of sense for your character. Um, you've had your sister describe to you the primordial magics of the primordial planes. Oh, of dear. Earth, water, wind, and fire. Based on what Panic is describing to you, this sounds like primordial earth energy. Panic, I don't suppose you know anything about primordials, do you? Do I? Uh, history check. Okay. Uh, history is going to be a 14. You've uh. heard, like, stories about it. There's basically four primordial realms that exist within the universe. Um, the primordial realm of the earth, the primordial realm of fire, the primordial realm of water, and the primordial, like, the airplane. You, there, there's four of them. Um, each one is ruled by, like, a mega elemental, and it's actually where a lot of Ganassi come from. Um, there's not many Ganassi, Ganassi, however you want to describe it, um, that you've seen in Alavast, but they do exist in the world. Um, so that's kind of what you know. You know kind of, like, the primordial plane is where Genasi are from and, and yeah like, just that yeah there's some like there's like four elemental planes there's earth wind fire and air something like that's where Genasi come from I think some mercenary guy has a daughter who's a Genasi it's crazy well this reeks of earth magic hmm. right, so how are we supposed to traverse it without ending up like that money would I know it I would say roll a history check for me. For yes, one. please. <laughs> a two! Task was not paying attention when Nario was talking to him. <laughs> Nario, it's like it just went off to walk, 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 walk. <laughs> blah, blah, dribble, dribble, dribble. <laughs> Is there some way we could appease it? Um, I don't think it is the kind of thing you can reason with. It just sort of happens. Uh, I could... It? I could try to dispel it. Could you dispel uh, something that big? Mm, I could probably dispel the area around the lizard hounds, but I don't know what doing that while they're inside the wall would accomplish. It would probably keep them stuck inside the rock. Should I hit it really, really hard with my hammer? Uh, and, no, and... you would probably kill them. 
or your hammer would get stuck, Borky. Oh, it's both bad things, actually. Huh. Um. It's... Ta hmm. I... Task. <laughs> Sorry. I have an idea. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Does anyone here have like some kind of like messaging or like panic? Do you have like a messaging like ability? I like, only have the like... ball of sending. That would be you, dude. I have a Nokia. Uh, my because my only my only thing above game, I was pretty much just gonna say, let's write on a stone or at least like write on the wall or somewhere on the ground, carve in like we come in peace. Oh, that really, I could really... probably I could just. Wait wait wait, 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 Would that really be so wise to cut into cut into the living rock? That's why I said a magical message. Uh, let, let me try uh, something here. I uh, could just put. Okay, money. I'm at. I could... Go ahead, Go Grickles. Ahead. Um, I'm actually just gonna not actually like throw to damage, but just chuck a dart, just kind of in the middle of the floor to see how it reacts. Okay, you. Ding, 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 ding. And it just slides against the, the floor as it usually would. I wonder if it only relax, reacts to living organic matter. Or if it's even sentient. I'm going to, on the wall with prestidigitation, say, can you read this? <laughs> how do you how do you do it? Are you carving into it? How is it just like... I'm prestidigitation. I can put a message on the wall. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, you slap a message on the wall. Nothing happens. It's very yeah. strange. Yeah. Because you watch as, when you put the message on the wall, you see what, what school of magic is prestidigitation. I'm assuming it's transmutation. It is. Transmutation. Yeah. Should, yes. So as you place it on the wall, it gets eaten by the primordial magic. It actually gets like removed slowly, almost like you know, like water rushing over a message in the sand. It's very strange. Uh. Uh. Borky, would counseling with Ronfalt do anything good for this? I've, oh hell if I know. Why the hell not? Borky pulls out Ronfalt, places both hands on the pommel. And tries to go to that Zen state. All right. Any you response from Ronfold? Close your eyes, and you are immediately in that chamber, and Ronfold <sighs> is sitting at his throne. Ronfold, I be sent. Did you hear what they said? Yes, I'm always hearing what they say. Okay, I don't I know. Think, I think I know where you are. Where we are? We we should a cave? Is it something? No, is it more than a cave? I believe this is a temple to Zaratan. Whoa. No. Borky, Borky pulls out a pen and paper. Could you spell <laughs> that for me? She's Z A R A T A N. Zaratan. I I I immediately I immediately just said in the back of my head the gun is good. The gun is so, good. <laughs> so so uh, Zaratan is. Let's be honest here, you know I'm not much about the god talk, but what Zaratari is the god of... They yeah. are one of the primordial rulers, I suppose, would be the word you would know it as. We worship the Elder Tempest. Those who worshipped the Earth primordial plane were subservient to Zaratan, the great elemental. Okay, cool. How many A's in Zaratan? Uh, three. Okay, three A's. I'm sorry. God, this is great information. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> uh, but is this a secret door for, for those who believe in those who are the servants of Zaratan? I never spoke with worshippers of Zaratan, so my knowledge is limited. I just simply know that one of the mountains here contained an essence of the Earth elemental plane. This may be such a place. Thank you very much, Ron Fault. She'll convey that message, the, the, the words, to the others. Borky. Y yes. Good work with that orc tribe. Yeah. Borky just looks up at him. Borky blushes a little bit and lets go with the sword. <laughs> oh no! What was that? Oh, what happened? Okay. All right. That was crazy. Okay. Up. Uh, hi guys. <laughs> Hello. Bor Borky ran away from a compliment from him. He couldn't handle it. Uh. Uh. Okay, I talked to Rumfolk. They... Does the name Zaratan ring a bell? Uh, Absolutely not. 
Everybody, uh, while... roll, everybody roll a religion check for me real fast. Uh, I got a quick question. How long was Borky in there talking? Was he, was that com it was like, real, real like time? Not, like two minutes, like barely. Two minutes? Like, Great. That's enough for an enthralling performance. I'm going to try and calm down the two dogs. Okay. Calm down, lizard dogs. Uh, first, let's do religion checks real fast. Yeah. Okay. 16. Uh, eight. Oh, I don't know. If, oh, yeah, there we go. 18. Yeah. 16. Oh, okay. Um, as you guys are kind of thinking about that, you realize where you've heard stories of, of Zaratan. Um, Avin is kind of the god of the mountain, specifically, and justice and that sort of thing. Zaratan is actually not a godly being. It is an elemental. It is a gargantuan elemental, sometimes known as the Great Land Turtle. Um, it is a giant turtle made of earth. Um, and it is said to be so huge that every time it steps, it shakes the very earth it stands upon. Um, you would know this as, yeah, a gargantuan elemental. Good God, a land dragon turtle? Good fuck. <laughs> a what? No, no, no I'm, I'm saying that above game. That's not in game at all. <laughs> damn it, damn it, Zeno Taskin, you have the same voice. Uh, you're going to do enthralling performance? Yep. Okay. So two lizard hounds need to make a waste uh, wisdom saving throw. Is it is it like any anyone that hears it? Uh, people like ch choose. Um, it's a wisdom saving throw. So it's not everybody. It's oh, I'm sorry. It's humanoids. So. Mm. Oh yeah. Then unfortunately, right, it's not going to affect the lizard hounds. Yeah. They are like freaking Got out, but they can't. Guys, really make wisdom do... saving throws. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh... <laughs> They can't really do anything in their position. Are you still going to play, or are you going to just leave it? Nah. I mean, everybody already thinks I'm amazing. I'm not sure. Uh, Monty. Mm -hmm. Careful. Yes. I'm going to do a weird... You be careful. I can make I'm you roll. A... I'm going to do a really <laughs> weird thing. Okay. For one of the first times, you're going to hear you're going to hear Greckles call out in Aryan. Can you understand me? There's no response. God damn it. No. What did you I... call out in? Orion, you would know. You would know you would know that language. Or I... would you No, you're still learning no. it. That's right. Wrong one. Oh god. Alright. Uh oh, so much for elemental language. Well, I'm gonna have Tass scream out then. Zartan! If that name means something, we mean you no harm and come to barter. Thank god I was able to say it at least once in this game. You don't there's no response. All right. Pause. Listen, there's no need for all of us. To all right. Help me calm these lizard dogs. Remy is going to hop off Volo and give him the stay command. Okay. Volo says. This, okay. This could end very badly for me, so don't follow. And he's going to take a step onto the ground. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before you do that, take this. He's going he's gonna to hand you the, um, the hook end of the grappling hook. We don't yeah. know what's going to happen. This could turn into mud for all we know. Yes, that's what I'm afraid of. Well, let's just have a fail safe then. Right, he's gonna take a step. Somebody's gotta do it. All right, you take a step, nothing happens. He's gonna continue to walk out towards the lizard hounds. Okay. You get about 10 feet away from the lizard hounds and suddenly shook, your leg goes in. It feels like someone grabbed your feet and just pulled you in. And now you are your legs are trapped as if you're caught up in dried cement. All right, I have good news. There is I want to say maybe 10 feet in front of you. Traversable terrain. A step beyond that and you will be stuck. Uh, anyone who wants to can roll a perception check to see what happened there. I yes, would like please. to. Or okay. would as well. Oh, what a piss baby. What a Ooh, bad roll. Nine. Nine. Okay, <laughs> only Porky gets this. Cool. Oh, uh, Borky, as Remy was walking, you literally saw two hands come out of the ground, grab him, and pull him in, uh, and disappear into the into the rock. Uh, so I've still seen Remy's upper half. Oh yeah, he's like maybe like a like half a foot into the ground. Um, Rem, Rem, Remy, I, I think I saw what just happened. All right, I'm listening. Tiny little rock hands grabbed you and pulled you down. All right, were, one more they time. They just so I heard big. correctly. You said I mean, well, the, the, you said tiny, necess tiny. No, they're not, little... necess not necessarily tiny. These just rock hands came out of the ground, grabbed you by the Yankees, and pulled you down into the. Into okay, the no, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't having a stroke. All right, into, so into that granite soup, here. I guess. 
Panic, can you see what he's describing in the arcane? Hmm. Can I? It's like a magic soup. It's really hard to... It's almost like this primordial magic is almost like a curtain or a veil. It's really hard it, to see what's going on. It's like some sort of primordial soup. All right. I don't I'm, know what you mean. How close am I to the lizard hounds? Ten feet away. Okay, so I can't reach them. I just took that no. one step and then I... Is there no way we can traverse around this? I mean, it's just a big, like... It, this this chamber is actually wider than the rest you've seen. It seems very, like, dug out. Um, but it is, like... It is a floor. There's no, like, stones to climb on. There's just the walls and the ground. How high is the ceiling? Uh, ceiling's probably about, I'm gonna say... 10, 12 feet. Okay. All right. Uh... Is there uh, anything on the other side? Can I roll a perception check to see if there's like a door sure. that leads out? Okay, cool. Absolutely. Do you have dark vision? Uh, I don't. This disadvantage this time. So I've thanks. I've still got this. I've still got the sun blade out. But you're you're far Nat away. Nat twenty from doesn't him. matter. Oh, oh let's go. Okay, then. Oh. Okay. Uh, there's something you immediately notice uh, towards like the further part of this cave. One, it leads into another tunnel, uh, and two there is stacks of stones that appear to have some sort of writing on it, but it's very difficult to see. Um, I don't even know if it has a written language, so I'm just going to double check. It could just be symbols. Give me one second here. Sure. It's rock talk. And these are at the other end of the room? Uh, yes, they're opposite to where you guys have entered. Okay. Uh, give me a hot uh, sec. I'll... I have got to bust for a piss real quick. No, so go for it. Me. That's a bust. Uh, I know okay. the feeling. So yes, there is there is writing there. All right. So there seems to be an exit on the other side of the room, but there's also a strange stacking of rocks with some carvings into it. I can't quite make them out. Which of you can see in the dark? That'd be me. Right. Task. If you so dare, climb on my shoulders so you don't get grabbed by these things. See if you can make out what it says. Uh, is there no way I can just walk around? I don't no. know how far this goes. I only know the path I took. You have about 10 feet before you reach me, and then some kind of magical hand is going to grab you. You could you could attempt to skirt around the perimeter. Yeah, I'd like to I'd like to attempt that. Okay. I do have but the squirmy. It, but it is like a, a like a circular. Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold the fuck up. I have superior dark vision and eyeglass. Why are we not thinking Okay. Okay, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I have 120 feet of dark vision in a spyglass. Yes, just do that. Do that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Ah! 11. It's still really hard to see because you're trying to keep that spyglass steady. And plus, there is a giant bird man and two lizard hounds in your way. And it's All really right. hard well, to see across. Well, I guess I'm doing the other plan first before I can attempt to do that again. Acrobatics to get around, I guess. All right, before anybody else gets stuck, can I have a try with the spyglass? I have I have a way out of this. It's just going to burn through my spell. I, I pass him the spyglass. All right. So, can I, I, I will try to I'll spy the rocks. All right. Zara turn. It does, it does give you advantage. Uh, oh, there you go. You won't soft need 20. it. 20. Um, I'm going to say roll an intelligence check to identify the script. Oh, boy. I'm glad you're an int caster. Uh, I'm a charisma caster because that's a, f and that was sarcasm. <laughs> uh, that is enough. Oh, you thank God. You recognize it as Terran. It is the primordial language of of Earth elementals, which is Terran. Mm. The language, the language you actually you wouldn't know about the spoken language. So you, yeah, it's it's the written language you assume based on the information you know and based on where the rocks are. So can anyone read Terran? No. Nope. Just what? the opposite. The hell is cool. I'm going to uh, assume that's some kind of rock language. Yes. Uh, yeah, I know it's rock music. Wait, Panic, can't you read any language? Or is that just speaking? <laughs> About that. Um, uh -huh. I didn't think I was going to be need to play the translator uh, during this little voyage. So I kind of didn't take any of my language spells. <laughs> boo! There... Boo! Oh, panic. time out, time out. Oh, time out. boo me, huh? Oh, both of you stop. Panic, do you sense any other isolated magic coming from that 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 print? 
it's it's further out than it's, thirty feet. So it's I'm assuming. out of yeah, it's out of the way of your your. Yeah, I I would need to get I would need to get closer, and then I I'd, I'd listen. If like, there's a way for you at least to skirt the perimeter, I believe Task had the right idea. If you wish to try. All right, uh, I have okay. one more other plan before I do that. Should we try and get you like? Like a rope and pull really hard or something? Something Remy? tells me gonna... that we should focus on the rocks. We might be able to get rid of this enchantment or whatever it is altogether. We also well, need to see uh, the mounts. I'm I'm going to mage hand, and I'm going to just sort of plap it down on the ground towards Remy. Okay. Uh, can you just click mage hand for me? Yee. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you action control hand? Use your hand move an object, open a lock door, container, slow, retrieve an item from... Okay, so you want it to like slap the ground? Yeah, slap the ground, slap o. Okay, um, roll a deception check. I'm gonna say. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Uh, twenty nine. <laughs> this, you start just like you you kind of make a slapping motion as if to kind of mimic footsteps, and the moment you get to a certain point, like slightly ahead of Remy, like between the two of you, uh, you watch as two arms just spring out from the ground and try and grab your mage hand and disappear and you watch slowly as a head peeks out and goes back immediately as if like to duck underwater it just kind of appears i point at it immediately and i go aha gotcha <laughs> <laughs> all right come on out there's no need for this come on what what ha what's happening what did you there's see someone in the rock do i still feel like there's hands holding on to me you're like just trapped in the rock. There is nothing like holding on to you except for the sweet embrace of rock. You remember, you remember Jumanji? How Robin Williams was sink was in the was in the floorboards. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna cast thaumaturgy to sort of wiggle the wiggle the rocks around where I, <laughs> I saw that head peek out. Okay, uh, click thaumaturgy for me just so I can read it. Yep. Uh, I can. My voice booms up to three times louder than normal. I can cause flames to flicker, brighten, or dim. I can cause harmless tremors in the ground for one minute, so I'm just going to try to agitate them. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. Um, That's actually really smart. <laughs> All right. And uh, I'm going to have a perception check ready to see this thing. It, okay. If if someone peeks out of the ground, someone be ready to, like, tackle them or something. Oh, no. If something peeks out of the ground, I'm going to fucking shoot an arrow at it and oh, cast no, a screaming no, no. strike. Bo bo oh, oh, that's better. Never mind. I was okay. just going to grab it and put it in so a headlock. What I'll... happens? What happens is, as you guys all wait on the side for about thirty seconds, you rumble the ground, and the ground is solid for a bit, and then it softens, and then you watch as, almost like crawling out of it, like a swimming pool, comes a stout dwarf-sized little elemental, comes rolling out, and it just takes a few steps over and just <laughs> sinks back into the ground. Uh... So, <laughs> is is. is... Is the is the ground now solid, or is the ground solid, or is it pliable now? It's sandy now. Yeah. All right, I'm uh, gonna get the hell out of it. Out, then. Out. <laughs> All right, you you, yeah, you managed to pull yourself out. Task, you want to take a shot, right? Well, I want to I wanted to at least take a shot, not so much to damage it, but to at least snaring. Okay, disadvantage because it happens really fast. This thing pops out and goes right back into Good the air. Come on, baby, you shoot well. Yeah, but it's a giant rock, man. Yeah, oh, with, an, not bad. with an 18. Oh, 18, 18 though. 18, 18 hits. Oh, yeah, 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 buddy. All right, so Whoa. ensnaring strike. Next time you hit a creature with a weapon attack, the target must succeed a strength saving throw spell, and uh, the creature is restrained if it fails. Uh, that's going to be a 22. It's pretty strong. <laughs> so as you entangle it, it just moves. It's made out of rock. It moves and breaks it and just immediately dips back into the earth. And disappears, leaving the patch to where it was at a sandy little kind of little. What about dune. what about so, the, can we get what a, about the lizards? Can the mountains? The lizards, can we get a lizard hound? The, the lizards, the lizard hounds are still like trapped. It's within about okay. five feet, so it was right next to Remy, and so Remy is is in sand. All right, this time out for a second. Time, <laughs> time, time out, time out, time out, time out. That's for sure. Do, do we want to try and take the violent route then, if we can't reason with it? Listen, uh, if there's a way to simply I free the mountain and move around, panic. I suggest we not waste our time. Panic, roll an intelligence check for me. Just to okay. memory. 12. 12. You have more than a 10. You were like, wait a second, I've seen one of those before. And you remember- oh, it a It's a Galabdur, yeah. It's... Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Dwayne! 
Dwayne! Hey, Dwayne! <laughs> Who is Dwayne? Uh, it's none of you, none of you know about this. Only Panic knew about this. He never told you guys. Mm. Uh, Panic, please. I really the... need you to be the sane one right now. No, no, no. Hey, okay. So there are these things called gallop. There's like cool rock dudes, and right. uh, we. I met one uh, while I was on while I was on watch. Uh, oh God, it was forever ago. Feels like. Uh, yeah, and did you? He's just a cool dude, and he listened to my songs and. And you thought now would be a good that time was to definitely one of his name. I mean, maybe it's him. I don't play, know. Play, I play him one. something. Does I he like music? Will... Yeah, he likes music. You can hear. Uh, sure, I'll... why not? I'll... I'll... <laughs> this is this is wacky. <laughs> I'll I'll go, go ahead me. and I'll just start I'll I'll start playing a song uh, that'll echo throughout. The... Roll a performance check. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh my cool. god, what is happening? Here? Good god! <laughs> 29. Uh, that you was wacky. To, you, you begin to play this really, like, how, what kind of music do you want to play for these Galdurs? Please say it's rock. Uh, sure. <laughs> that right. hair it'll be, metal, it'll be alternative rock, so it's not like, it's not like rattling. With rooms, right no. All <laughs> rock, I'm like, All of you guys. As you guys are standing here, like the vibration of Panic's music kind of echoes through this tunnel, and then the entire chamber begins to shake. You watch as oh. probably about 130 Gallup Durs <laughs> just, just, just come out of the walls. <laughs> oh. Like oh. Ev every surface area, your your lizard hounds are freed and are just surrounded by tons of these Gallup Durs. Oh, just shit. kind of begin to swarm and encircle all of you guys, and that is where we're gonna take a break. <laughs> Oh my uh, god, do they all just have knives? Tiny little galanters with knives. Hundreds of Kirby's with knives. Panic is, is like smiling at first. He's like, yeah, the people are coming out and as they come out more, oh my god. smile slowly fades into, what? oh. Oh what? my god. That's what? a thousand. B-52 makes a silent night with 100,000 bits. Holy shit. Good god. Uh, not, uh, too much to say, but to sum up, Taka helped me get through seven grueling years, and Unexpectals helped me get through the hardest two years by being an ER physician. I couldn't oh. give this without oh. all you to keep me sane. Oh my god. Mm. Holy fuck, man. B-52. Hey, stay safe out there. Yeah. Stay, uh, yeah, stay thank you so much for all you're doing. Yeah, you guys are the heroes. Like, like what you're I, I, we do not end we do I, not envy what you're doing I love, but I, I love you guys i gotta get up and use the bathroom but b52 thank you it's very kind of you to say um like this is this is not this is this is a very difficult time and i can't even imagine what you go through b52 i can't yeah. i can't even imagine what you go through on a day-to-day -day basis right now but i uh, guys if you're Everyone in the chat, if you guys can just send good well wishes to B fifty two, because Fuck right yeah, now dude. this entire yeah, this entire safe, this entire ordeal has really truly made us realize what really mat who really matter in our society, and you're one of those people B fifty two. So thank you so much for sticking with me through all the cringe, <laughs> and for choosing the unexpectables to watch. Thank Talk you so much for crunch. being here with us. Thank you so much for that one hundred thousand. Bits, my God, my heart. I felt like my, my heart went. I was like, Ugh! like my jaw unhinged. Like, oh my God. Like, like, one, two, three. Yeah, that's ten. Not, not mm -hmm. since, not since like probate's kindness was overwhelming. And this is just, and this is this when you people are so kind like this. It is, it is. Oh my God, it's, it's I'm humbling. burping. I'm burping. My stomach just, my stomach just. <laughs> you should go use the rest. I, I have to take a page out of Monty's book. Uh, I have to. Uh, yeah, go. Guys, I got this. Charge now. Thank you it's so much, dude. I will lock it down. It's been. I'll say no. Hi, guys. Welcome into the Edward Bosco halftime show. I'm your host, Edward Bosco. Let's uh, do a quick recap of the night. So, uh, yeah, ER people are the bomb, and that was pretty freaking cool. Mm -hmm. Apparently, there's still somebody here. We're going to throw it down to our weatherman. I'm going to guess that's Gaijin Goomba. Gaijin, are you there? Oh, God, it's raining sideways. Thank you so much for that, Gaijin. Now we're going to go to Zito with sports. Thanks for that, Zito. And uh, that's our halftime show. We're going to get you right back to the Unexpectables right after these commercial messages.
Tonight's episode of The Unexpectables is brought to you in part by Lowe's. Lowe's! But why? There we go. Don't quit Thanks. my day job. Okay, I won't, actually. I don't plan on quitting my day job. I enjoy I'll money. I was going to do a bit, Boss Kobe. Didn't give me time. And we're back with the extended halftime report. We're going to go back to Gaijin Goomba with the weather. No, Gaijin, no, it's too late. It's too late. It's done. No, it was a commercial. God damn it. But no, no, it's it's done. Thank it's you over. so much for that, Gaijin. We'll throw it back to you in just a bit. And this has been the extended halftime show with your host, Edward Bosco. I'm Edward Bosco reminding you, lows, lows, but why? And by Dr. Weird Greckles. Dr. Weird Greckles. They're still open. We dare you. Dr. Weird Greckles. And by See. Sprite. See, that was my bit. And you've not only you've not only taken away from me, but you've you've used it in a sham. I can't believe you, Bosco. Sorry. <laughs> I feel like I've slighted nah, you. Nah, I came back at an awkward time. Hey, dude, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go to Monty with Sports Monty. Are you there? <laughs> Do the thing, win the points. Thank you so much for that. Basketball. This has been the extra extended halftime show with Edward Bosco. We'll be right back after these commercial messages. Do a corner <laughs> kick to get the touchdown. Listen, have you been injured in a car accident or dragon related injury? Well, don't come here because I'm Dr. Weird Greckles selling Dr. Weird Greckles insurance. We can cover most things most days. However, if you need additional assistance, you're going to have to call my assistant, Tammy, at the times of 6 and 3.42 p.m. And by Soup Plantation, where you can come on down to get some buttered lettuce to go with all of your culinary needs. Remember, Soup Plantation, we're out of business, but we still do commercials. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Edward Bosco Halftime Show. We now return you to your regularly scheduled D&D programming. I'm going to go get tea. Son of a bitch. Oh, I want tea. I have no food in my house. I haven't been able to go grocery shopping for the past few years. that so sounds like busy. a you problem, and I feel bad for you. I, I'm probably going to ask Kurt if he can drive me tomorrow. <laughs> Just oh, Kurt. Kurt, you have a car. Can you please take me to I the usually, food places? I usually go grocery shopping with my friends, but they're all confined to their homes. So hey, I so there's can't. one benefit for having him around. Yes. I mean, I will say I'm not a huge fan of hearing him screaming through the walls. That's how oh, fun. <laughs> yeah. Is he right next to you? He is. Yeah, he's on the other side. It's um, weirdly enough in my office, I don't hear him. But in my bathroom and in my bedroom, I do, which is subsequently where I sleep. So, well, I'm so sorry that you have to deal I've, with that. I've been uh, playing critical role just so I there's something. Different. You've been playing critical role? Like playing the, the the videos of Critical Role. Oh, I see you. I was like, you're in Critical Role. What? I mean, I, I was about to say, I see you too have the Matt Mercer book. <laughs> oh yeah, the Matt Mercer book. Okay, Zito, the Matt Mercer book is it's so good because there's so much Goliath in it, and I'm so happy. Uh, <laughs> there's so much Goliath in it. It's a monkey's there's a, a happy there's, girl. There is there is like throughout the entire book there it, there's a reoccurring like D and D party that keeps showing up in the artwork, and one of them is Goliath, and I'm like, I love you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm I'm uh I'm I'm very partial to the Echo Knight and the Dragonborn uh variants they put in there. Dragonborn variants are really cool because it's very like um like um it, it, setting, it validates setting. half dragons in a way. It does, yeah. And like the actual like Dragonborn lore in Matt Mercer's campaign is actually very interesting. I really like mm -hmm. it a lot. There's also did you see the hollow? There was like like Oh yeah, the hollow's cool. fucking tight as hell. Hollow like, is pretty it's cool. So good. Mm -hmm. I should probably look at this stuff. Likewise. It's the it's the new D and D book. It's literally the new. Uh, it's good. it's source. it's it's Critical Role's uh, current campaign. It's a D and D book of them. So I haven't really looked at the classes. I've just like I've just been looking at the races. Echo Knight stuff. is Echo Knight is as close as we're going to get to a psychic warrior until they just put out the fucking UA. Okay. I am I am a little bit hesitant to use any spells from it just because I'm like. Mm. Well, the thing about that is that they kind of already like they kind of hand fisted themselves because it's like, all right, so we know we have these cool new sick abilities that like we're only allowing that people who take this. Uh, who, the only people who are allowed to use any of these spells are our subclasses only. And I'm like, ooh, that's kind of crippling. Yeah. Like, like you, you kind of like gatekeeped a lot of the other classes from the fun. It makes sense, though, because it is a setting specific thing. And I, I get that. But I, yeah. But I, I actually have seen people on the internet making, uh, making like basic spell lists so that every class could have a taste of it. 
I was gonna say the other thing too that doesn't stop you is making potions and scrolls. With oh yeah, 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 like, yeah. There's nothing to stop you from doing that. So that's that's pretty good. I mean, you gonna DM is a railroading jerk. I I really they, the nice thing about that book too. I mean, we're we're totally like we're not sponsored by the. <laughs> Oh um, no, we're, we're just talking about this because it's part cool. by Critical Role. The, the, if you're looking, the, the other part of that book is actually a pre-written adventure, which is great, and I actually like read it. And first of all, Goliath again, very nice. Um, <laughs> but there's a bunch of different adventures in there, which is really really cool, all set in that universe, which is really 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 awesome. So, though, so can we can we just like pour one out for Aberrant Mine that got fucked over in recent UA? Did it? Oh, did it get nerfed to shit? No, no, it didn't get nerfed. It got absorbed into the psychic, into the sorcerer psychic Ooh. thing. Ooh. Mm. You Leave it. You guys okay? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Before. Levy with the 25 tier one gift subs to the community. Good grief. Just dropping that all over the place. Thank you really, for that. I really Holy hope. Crap. I really hope everybody's enjoying the emotes. By the way, those emotes are by Nutcase. She did a fantastic job. Uh, they're actually all of our Discord emotes, so now you have access to them on, on Twitch on tw now. She, she, I, She's a very big contributor Matt, to a lot of Monty, my Monty, here's the real question. Will there be other emotes added? Do you have the real oh, yeah. one? We, we want to get a Remy one. and uh, Oh, that's a terrible idea. Potentially up, some some Prince Division ones. Specifically, um, you'll notice that we actually do not have a second tier or high tier emote. Specifically, we're just keeping all emotes at like the five dollar level tier. because you guys are very generous and we don't feel the need to put them behind any anything mm -hmm. additionally. At least basically, what we're saying is we're not every video game company ever. Ever. Oh, <laughs> ouch. No I do want. I, I do want to say too. I do have to get King for doing the uh, cool uncle's cool uncle Greckles dab. Oh, no. high holy oh, high probate. Oh, high probate. All right, look, probate, probate. Listen, we have to have a talk, buddy. Just you and me, just real quick. So probate with the 100,000 bits saying, wrap this up with one more big drop. So look, man, uh, we have to, you already have done so much. What I need you to do is knock it the hell off and space, just pace yourself, man. It's not a, it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. Just, you know, every week or so, like, you don't have all at once. Like, it's just. It's like a supernova. Like you don't you don't want to burn your candle at I, both ends. Let's wrap I, for a minute. I saw I saw earlier probate was just like Bonty has a price. And like literally my response to that, <laughs> my response to that was like, you know the Obama then perish image? That was my response to that. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh -huh. like <laughs> what did I miss? Hi. You missed uh, hundred thousand bits of twenty-five uh gift subs and now twenty gift subs from five one off one. Oh my god, it's tracking verbal. We we thank everybody. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. We My thank you. God, all of you. Thank uh, you. So I missed much. a couple before that though, because I want. Busy talking. I want to jump right back into this because of how late we started. So is everyone here? Yep. We're good. Good. Uh, yeah. Connor. Oh yeah, I heard Connor? him. Yeah, I heard him. All right, let's keep going. Okay. So, all right. As you play your melody, you count about 131 galopters, individual galopters, and the chamber turns into basically like a like a flat sandy kind of like beach texture. Parts of the walls are just like pouring out sand now as like galopters are just falling from the ceiling onto the ground and like like oh. kind of unfolding and walking in kind of this big mob around you guys. Now, now do they have the same face, every single one? Uh, there's variation, uh, but they all have the general same blocky, earthy kind of look to them. All right, what? All right, all right, I'm going to tell you this right now, Kurt. They all look like Treebeard. So, hey, Mark, <laughs> what is the... there a way to traverse past them, or are they just there's so many that there's no way to move past them? Uh, you, they're difficult terrain, but yeah, you can kind of like sidle up to your allies if you wish. Okay. Um, they are all. Um... It's the they babies all, from a streetcar named Marge. Oh my god. <laughs> they're all dwarf sized. They're all dwarf sized. Um some some are slightly smaller, some are slightly bigger. Um the moment panic you're done playing, the sound of a gravel truck just starts ringing out in this chamber. Like it sounds yeah. like a whole like 50 rock tumblers are going off. Not extremely loudly, but like sub subtly like kind of grumbling. <laughs> And no one speaks Are... Terran, do they? <laughs> nope. No. Nope. All right. Can we just like I try was... to leave? <laughs> no, yeah, I think so. Can I walk to the other end while it's sandy? Down in Fraggle Rock. Hey, Monty. Hi. Hi. I'm gonna try and say something now. 
Um, while Panic was playing and they were all getting together, I was going to actually try to sneak by since mobile gives me the ability to get through difficult terrain as if it wasn't, okay. and try to get the mounts and get to the other side of the chamber. The moment you try to pass through them, they will grab and stop you. You know that. Like, the moment you're like, I'm just going to see God, they, try, they grab you and they pull you. And even if you stealth, they have a sense. Oh, so probably not. Oh, they have blind. So. Do they do they just do they just kind of corral us into one little group? Yeah, they're like corralling Amazing. all of you together into the center. They're not letting you guys go as back. like Forky's just holding up a sheet of paper. Back! Back beast! Your your, your back. poor mounts are like snapping at them, and like one of them snaps towards the Galadur, and the Galadur just kind of backhands one of the lizard hounds. Like he stops that. As all they right. all just kind of they all kind of grind and then they all stop and they just wait. Right, now how do we move past them? What is uh, happening? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you're all beautiful. Uh, is, there, is there a translator in the audience? Uh, they all begin to like look at each other and that same kind of like rock tumbler noise kind of comes back and they all just kind of like, there's like quizzical <laughs> rock grinding, which you're not sure how that works, but somehow. And they all Wait. kind of turn back and like just like start getting closer. It's almost like squeezing all of you guys together in a way. Oh well, never mind. I, I want all of them uh, to start crab raving. I will start playing again, okay. and I will have uh, the five closest Galabders to us um, make wisdom saving throws. I'm going to start another enthralling performance. All right. Just for the sake of the rest of them, roll a performance check for me. Mm-hmm. Ooh, not great for them. There you go. That's it. That's the thing. 21. Uh, yeah. they, they all fail uh, as you Ooh. play. Great. Uh, They're all with me. They, <laughs> the, the moment I you think get, I'm, the, I'm the, the bee's knees. The moment you get to, like, a beat, like, almost like, I guess a mosh pit, I don't know. They all just start jumping in unison at times oh. as you're playing, and it's, like, the most terrifying oh, no. thing. Uh, <laughs> panic for fuck's sake. Don't make them get into the wall of death. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> He's about to drop the beat. Here comes the drop! <laughs> um, the five Galabdurs in front of you actually pick you up. They, like, push everybody else away and pick you up. Like, by Yeah. The uh, yeah. Here we go, and I'll, I'll, I'll like, motion to my friends. Come up we got to get moving and i'll point to the i'll point to uh the opposite end of that cave and i'll just i'll just say over there <laughs> let's okay. get going should we jump in unison as well <laughs> um let's not take the luck <laughs> you guys are kind of part of the entourage as the galabders that are carrying panic are kind of leading this group uh you are led down this this you were led past those two stones uh which you notice the galabders kind of like bow to and then keep moving um, eventually, the tunnel forks into a left tunnel and a right tunnel. They take you down the left tunnel, um, and the chamber begins to get warmer, like, oh, hotter. Oh, no. <laughs> is it unnaturally hot, or is it like we're reaching the sun? Um, you need the gods of metal. Can, 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 can oh, I do yeah, an work. You're not a virgin. You're going to be fine. Can I do an um, intelligence check to see if we're actually going to a volcano? Sure. Go ahead and roll an intelligence check. Oh, great. Actually, a Would perception I... check. Perception check. Oh, perception thank God. Check. That's okay. way better. Those are better for me. I'm going to go with a 25. Uh, you don't get an advantage on this one because you're not using sight. This is 23, all then. Smelling. That's a 9. 22. Okay. Uh, 13. 19. Uh, Panic, Task, and Remy, you smell like brimstone. <laughs> and immediately you're like, that's 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 magma. That's, that's lava. <laughs> pa pa panic. Panic. As you guys are led forward you enter a huge chamber oh a large chamber and it, which in the center of it is a significant pool of lava notably on all of the walls there is a bunch of drawings um i would say probably task hello those are depictions of what you assume is zaratan um and various different depictions of the galabders some artistic uh, representations. Cool. Does any of those pictures show them throwing things into? That's my first question. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> roll. Roll a perception check. Twenty-three. Uh, you don't see them like throwing um like people into lava, but you do notice th that there is depictions of Zaratan eating things. What you yeah. see, the sacrifices. 
Oh, no, no, we should leave now. Panic. <laughs> I want to believe Panic can't hear us because he's just loving it too much. <laughs> yeah. I'm uh, so great. As you guys are far away from Panic, you watch as they begin to swing to throw Panic into the lava. No! Wait, no, 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 hang on. No, hang on. Um, in throwing performance specifically, I, uh, uh, they speak, they, yeah, I'll just, I'll, oh, shit. Um, each target must succeed a wisdom saving throw against your spell save DC or be charmed by you. While charmed in this way, the target idolizes you. It speaks glowingly if you do anyone who talks to and hinders anyone who, although it avoids violence unless already inclined to fight on your behalf. So, I hate to break it to you, but they don't see this as being violent. Yeah. They're giving you to Zaratan is their idea right now. Oh. Uh, as you're being swung, though, you hear a sudden noise behind all of you in the main chamber. Almost like the sound of a large gavel hitting the stone. Like, boom, on the ground. And all immediately, all the Galabdurs, their heads, not their bodies, all their heads turn 180 oh. degrees oh. around. <laughs> Oh, owl. I thought their heads were on their bodies. I'm just, I'm just imagining the Balrog theme starts playing. Ah, oh, it's not good. Uh, you see a very large Galabdur, like Borky <laughs> Height Galabdur. My God, he's. It's beautiful. the Galabdu. It, oh, no. it is wearing a like a, a ornate headdress of like beautiful, almost glass like rocks that kind of hang down. And as it moves forward, the Galabdur's part, as the Galabdur walks up to you, Panic. And it stares you in the face and begins to just, like, grind. It just sounds like a coffee grinder going off. Dwayne, is that... Uh, roll an insight check? <laughs> uh, not great. Nine. Nine. It's a big Galabter. Dwayne was not that big. Also, okay. Dwayne, Dwayne was like kind of like a brown rock. This is like a gray rock. So this is a completely different Galabter. I miss him. I miss Dwayne the Rock. <laughs> this Galabter like kind of uh, shoes away the two. Like the Galabter is currently holding you up. And the Galabter points to you and starts like just and then turns and points towards the pool and steps back oh <laughs> um no <laughs> tell me to get in the pool get in the pool you don't know you have no idea what it's trying to say to you on his feet <laughs> you, can, you can you can roll another insight check to attempt to decipher its intentions if you would like okay let's let's go for that one then. uh 17 17 it's not coming up for me just yet yeah, it's not coming for me either. Roll it's coming 20. eventually, I hope. Uh oh. 20. You Roll alive, 20. bud? Roll 20. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Wow. Uh -oh. Roll, 20's, uh -oh. Roll 20's having a time. Hang on. Someone else try rolling something just to make sure it's not on. I just time. refreshed it. It's taking a while. I'll roll uh, a random relic. History. Check. History. Borky got <laughs> One. it. One. Yay. Good job, yes. Borky. It's, yeah, it's, I think it's, I think it's, for you? I think it's, it's you, Connor. I think you need to okay. refresh. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll take your well, word I, for the 17, though. I will okay, that. all right. Are we all still being forcibly carried? Uh, you guys are just, like, part of the crowd. Um, Can we make our way towards oh, panic? There we go. Yeah, there it is. There it goes. Uh, at this point, you get the sense that it might not be a great idea, <laughs> given great. the current circumstance. Cool. 17, you get the sense that it's not asking for you to go in the lava. It's asking you to put something in the lava. Oh. Uh, hmm. Uh, do you have any rocks? <laughs> I'll, I'll just I'll just turn to the guys. It wants a sacrifice. It's like a material sacrifice. I hold up the material, the mineral water. What? What sacrifice something of the earth from something different? I guess I don't know. I mean, silver comes from the earth. Yeah, and one of our bottles has silver in it. As you guys are having this conversation, going back and forth, the Galabders all turn with each consecutive like, <laughs> like <laughs> part of the conversation. Stone grinding sounds. <laughs> <laughs> Every time it's like. <laughs> I, think, I think one of these rocks. I think one of these rocks touched my ass. 
Taskus, give him an arrow. Use anything you have. Just throw it in. Oh, for God's I'll, sakes! Just, I have, I have twenty silver pieces. I'll just pull them out. I'll be, I'll show them to the Galavders. They all kind of like lean forward to look at it and then lean back. And I'll, I'll throw them into lava. All right. Psst, 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 psst. And then all the Galavders begin to golf clap. <laughs> Thank you. Borky, Borky joins Thank in because he's scared of not being involved. <laughs> The big Galadur like picks you up, like a baby, like just kind of oh, like puts right. the arm under you and lifts you up and brings you over and places you into the crowd, and then walks up to you, Task, and picks you up and brings you over to the edge of the pool. No, 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 no! Okay. All right, we just we must abide by their cuss. All the Galadurs turn and look at Panic again, just like the moment he starts talking, like oh, they all look at you. Oh fuck's <laughs> sake! They all turn back and look at Task. Oh, banana cat face, super hard. All right, Sacrifice I don't have your precious things to the weird drag turtle. Oh, fuck me! Fine, I will throw Task. in. I will throw in ten silver arrows. Okay, you take the arrows, and as you throw them in, the silver melts, but the shafts that are made out of wood just woof, ignite into fire, and all the galders like raising their their hands above their heads are clapping like more aggressively, like ooh, like, <laughs> wow. Zar Zaraton like that one. Ah, uh, yeah, the, the, yeah, praise Zart. I'm uh, just Tash just runs back. Guys, like no. You like run, and then like you're stopped by a galder who picks you up and literally places you like two feet over and puts you down. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> Uh, Borky, two Galabders, like, shove you in front of the Hey, hey, pool. hands off the merchandise, all right. Um, so just, okay, uh, all right, um, this is my Warhammer. I love it, like, 40k, I'm out. So, uh, Borky just takes the Warhammer, just underhand chucks it in. All yeah. right, it hits the side of the wall and makes a clanging noise. I clang, 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 and then the bubbles, and all the, all the Galabders, like, look over, some of them on the edge kind of look over, and they just golf clap. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Every time, ladies. Borky packs away. Bye, Warhammer. They pick you up. They, like, the moment you take two steps, each one grabs a leg and just, like, like ferries you over back to where you were well, and puts you down. Oh, great. They, they, they just, great service. Great service. Greco's, as you try to sneak away, two of them grab your legs and two of them grab your arms and, like, bring you I over. I wasn't trying to God. sneak away. Uh, why would I sneak away? You're always sneaking away, You're always sneak away, sneak away <laughs> Greco's. You people think you know my character whoa, so whoa, freaking whoa, well. You people. Mm. All right, I have a sequence of things I would like to do. Okay. Um, I've got, I've got fifty. You know what? Screw it. Um, how many pieces of silver would fit in in a mage hand? You, you would you say? I mean, like a fist, like a handful. So like twenty, thirty. I'm trying to think how many pennies I could hold in my hand. Like maybe fifty. Okay, so um, I'm actually gonna mage hand uh, 50 silver out, but my mage hand's invisible, so it looks like this this uh, this metal is just floating, and just I want to try and fake like a really really uh, not postulating, but but kind of a ritualistic movement. Okay. And roll, um, yeah. Roll a deception check. Let's see here. So you're trying to you're trying to embellish and trick them, so. Twenty. Okay. Roll insight for the wee Galabder. So the, the wee lads. That's a natural one. So Excellent. they love it. They're like like there's like if if rocks could cheer and like freak that freak out. Like you just hear the sounds of smashing stone and like gravelly rocks. It sounds like fifty coffee grinders. Are All right. So that. this is this is the, this is the fall. Hang on. Let me finish. Yeah. 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 Um. I'm gonna the the hand will the invisible hand will slowly let all of that silver kind of melt and congeal, and then, really like as as soon as it's done um, melting it in, into a liquid, I will cast Silent Image to have what appears to be a 15 foot uh, rock elemental just spring up and then dissipate. Okay, as you go to cast the spell, it doesn't work. Whoa! Okay, that's good info. Yeah, um, you're like, you're like, I got this, and then nothing happens. You're like, you don't even feel anything because usually when you cast a spell, you feel something. Yeah. Quick tap dance your way out of that situation. <laughs> Wait. What's what? like, what that? You're not a worked either. Uh, it's it's a spell, so cantrip worked. The spell didn't. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Gotcha. So gotcha. the cantrip. Okay, that's that's wacky. Mm. All right. Yeah. In, in that in that case, I'll I'll do my uh 
fainted pretend bow and then step back. Okay, you bow and step back, and the gallop doors all clap again. Uh, Remy, you and Volo. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, you specifically, Remy, are grabbed and you are dragged forward as well, and you're placed in front of the lava. I'm gonna sneakily whisper that that information to Panic while this is going on. Quick. As you're kind of over there, you're noticing that a lot of the Galadurs are looking between you and Remy a lot, and they're kind of like echoing this, like this, the similar sort of like gravelly noise. Oh God! Like races, oh, races some birds. They're kind of looking, and like some of the Galadurs are making like a flying motion. And you, um, you, you notice one point still under the carvings on the walls, which appears to be a depiction of the elemental plane of air. And they're pointing towards you guys. Oh. Remy's going to uh, dust himself off because he's getting real sick and tired of people just grabbing him. Uh, he's going to take a single crossbow bolt and just chuck it over. Okay. <sighs> and you can look. He is In his eyes, he is not having any of this. He's very annoyed. All the Galabdurs are like standing there waiting. <laughs> Come on, do something! Monetary value! <laughs> it's gotta be bigger, Remy. He takes a singular silver coin and flicks it. Psst. There's like a moment of pause. And then two of the Galabdurs grab you and begin to like prepare to swing you into the lava. Uh, excuse you! <laughs> more, more, Remy. more money! <laughs> Remy, now is not the time to be prideful. What do they want? Throw in more? silver! Throw in more silver. Anything Fine! If it can catch fire, they love it. He'll take five more silver and chuck it in. All right, you take five more silver and chuck it in, and they drop you on the ground, and they all look down and see what <sighs> happens. Nothing happens, and there's kind of this, like, conversation between, like, three or four of them as they're graveling. And then one kind of cocks his head to the side, like, nah. And then they just grab you and begin to swing you again, like, no, we want more. What the? F okay. I'm fucking. Throw, I'm thro throwing like I'm... a sword or something. I'm not throwing my sword for these uh, innocents. Just I'm... throw in gold, Remy. No, shut up. I'm I'm firing from my bow attached to an arrow, the mineral water with silver. Okay. Uh, as you do this, um, there are many minerals in that water. Some of which would include copper and other fun things. As they're about to swing Remy in, you like shoot the canister, it crashes into the water. A rainbow plume of smoke and steam explodes from the magma, and immediately all the Gallopters drop Remy and immediately go down to their hands and knees and just start like bowing <laughs> to the oh, great spirit of Zaratan. Amazing. <laughs> It's like this sizable cloud of smoke. It smells terrible and is probably not good for the lungs, but they love it. Oh. And they're all like bowing their heads down, leaving the rest of you guys standing in the chamber. Do we have I our mounts, see. by the way? <laughs> oh yeah, they're there. Okay. If we're let's leave. Enough, we These guys are fucking fight. idiot. <laughs> then let's just use that to our advantage and get out. I'm just gonna get on Bolo and get the fudge out of here. Okay, you guys grab your mounts and you guys just start running. Yeah, we're leaving. <laughs> You guys eventually make your way to the right side of the tunnel, which you assume is the way out and doesn't lead to a magma chamber. Uh, and eventually you no longer feel the heat of the magma and make your way out. Oh, while we're running, I look over at Remy. I punch him in the arm. Pride! Lose it sometimes! Ugh. I didn't know what they wanted. We all told you like three times! Let's go. <laughs> Let's worry about- I'll yell at you later! Uh, okay. We have bigger things to worry about. Also, guys... speaking... oh, go ahead. Speaking of worry, just so everyone knows, I tried a cast back there and it did not work. Like there was an uh, anti-magic field or what? I don't know because uh, the mage hand worked, but nothing bigger than that worked. It's it's so weird. Mm, I have a theory. Yeah, it might be because you're using arcane magic. I think an area of power like that might only be susceptible to, like, divine magic, like druid stuff. Just a theory. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, at this point, Panic, you're you're kind of at the tail end of your your detect magic spell. This place is oozing with primordial magic. It's it's actually incredibly concerning. It's like a vapor, almost. You can barely see. Uh, uh yeah, I think I'm, uh, I'm pretty right on that. Well, at least you we guys... know. 
you guys pass through various chambers, almost museum-like in quality with various different, like, <laughs> almost like carved walls and more art depictions, most of which are of this giant earth turtle. Um, some of them are, like, really cheerful and happy, and other ones are, like, it destroying things. It's kind of a weird, like, difference. Um, notably, there's also, like, a... Um, you find one area that looks like it's, like, a maybe a way to keep tally of all the Galabdurs that are here. Um, and there's even depictions of Galabdurs leaving this cave and going mm. into the unknown, which you see as well. Um, eventually you guys make your way forward. And at this point, it's pretty late at night. You guys travel for quite a few hours in the cave, this winding cave. Um, you do get lost at one point, but manage to kind of find your way back. But eventually you guys are starting to get pretty tired. And we're still in the cave? You're still in the cave, yeah. Maybe we should make camp, guys. Mm. Are we sure those things aren't going to follow us? Uh, are we in a well, tunnel? Yeah. They're not. They're not hostile, either. And we really paid. I feel like they were about to throw us into lava. It's we well, well, we paid the tribute, Remy. Yeah. It wasn't hard, you cheapskate. <laughs> while while they're all fighting about monetary shit, Task is gonna carve a uh carve a symbol the upside down arrow into the into the wall okay so we have a starting point if we get lost easy enough you just take a like another piece of rock and just like mark it yep all right you guys want to make camp or do you want to keep going if there's a good spot to make camp absolutely <laughs> yeah if we're in a good spot we'll make camp you've only got tunnels yeah i mean but we've all got like beds <laughs> and tents and stuff right like explorer packed stuff does anybody have a tent or a bed? I have an explorer. We should have. Yeah, we should all have. Yeah, guys, uh, I have a bed roll. roll. Uh, yeah, I have a bed roll. Great. So, uh, quickly before we um, all get situated with our campsite, I'm gonna. <sighs> this isn't my wheelhouse, but I'm gonna tr try to see if any sort of creature sort of made all these tunnels, or if it was just sort of something that happened over time. Okay. Um, go ahead and roll a nature check. Nature? All right. Again, not my wheelhouse, but I do have jack of all trades, so six. I'm going to be generous here because it's kind of obvious. Um, the space in which the Galders clearly <sighs> occupy, definitely in terms of just, like, the, the chamber itself seems very isolated compared to the tunnels that have been carved here. You get the sense that someone stumbled upon this place, which was probably sealed. Um, that is that is the gist that you get, especially how long these tunnels are and the fact that at this point, you don't see any other Galabders at this point. So it look it it does look man-made then? Yeah, this looks man-made. It's very crude okay. and there are, there are similar support beams to where you started. So you assume the Iron Claws dug this out. There are patches where it looks like like Probably iron was was carved out as well. There's a okay. little. That's where you guys got lost. Actually, you went down there. And you're like, oh, this is just a mine shaft where they took. Damn it! And you just went back. <laughs> all right, I'll. Uh... All right, I'll go ahead and rejoin the guys then. Uh, we're doing. Remy, the why are you, Remy, why are you got Remy? Why are you in a bad mood? We just got out of dodge. You know, you got out of that. Oh, barely. Come on now. It could have got much worse. I'm surprised they didn't kill me for how many of them we killed. Right, we didn't they... kill any of them. To be, yeah, I was about to say, to be fair, we didn't kill any of them. We just killed their living guardians. Oh. Yeah, we killed, I think, I think, like, earth elementals. or I'm not even oh. sure that was... Well, well, good, Dad, because, you know I mean, like, that would have been really bad. Look, let's just all get some sleep and just kind of shake it off. I will mm. take first watch. You know... Yeah, could someone else take first watch. I botched that last yes, time. Yes, I'll take first watch. I, oh, I mean, sleep. watch in general. I mean, watch I, in general. I guess you guys didn't hear me. I said I would take first. Yeah. Oh no, I I I, I misspoke. I misspoke. Ah. Okay. Could, so, could I just task first, Remy, and then who wants to be third? Me four for a full watch. Uh, Greckles, I'll be, I'll be or third. Panic. Greckles, one of those. Greckles, Greckles takes morning. It's always been his thing. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was taking morning so We can't really tell inside the cave. You have but, no yeah. idea what time it is. You guys just got tired, so you have no idea if it's Take the time. people who have dark vision. Yeah. All right, fine. I'll freaking be a night guard again. All right. So you have Task, Remy, Borky, and Greckles is who I got down. 
You guys settle down for the night, and as you guys get ready to sleep, all the lizard hounds are like hanging above all of you and looking down at you. <laughs> <laughs> can can I can I attempt to have Hanzaki just come close and just like cuddle sleep for warmth? They're drooling. All of them are drooling. Oh, they don't have food. Yeah, there's no grass here. There's nothing for them to eat. It's just rock. Though right. mm. though Judas is licking the wall, but it's not the greatest. <laughs> all right, well. Oh, Slime. Judas. Nah. Okay, Monty. Mm -hmm. Let me let me see let me see if I can get Hanzaki to come down just just teasing with a ration. Okay. Go ahead yeah, and roll handle animal with advantage because of their lizard brains. <laughs> that is a twenty. Okay, wow. easy enough. The moment you show food, it's like a like a excited pit bull just kind of bouncing around excitedly. I'll I'll I'll, I'll try to I'll I'll give him the uh, I'll give him the ration, see if he'll calm down and lay down and just kind of lay up on him just to get kind of soft and comfy. Okay, uh, it's like the moment you kind of like pat pat lay next to me, he lays on top of you. <laughs> um, but it's comfortable. <laughs> he doesn't crush you, but it's just like Ugh! it's like when a big dog sits on your lap on a couch. Oh well, that's actually kind of cute. Dog. Yeah. With his ass in your face. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, is it is it is it warm and toasty and comfy? That's all I care about. They're weirdly enough, they are warm. They're not like cold blooded like most lizards are. They're actually warm blooded, surprisingly. Cool. All right. Um, well, as so, long as I mean, there's comfy. They're weak. not like toasty warm, <laughs> but they're like kind of warm. As long look as all as long as it's comfortable, that's all that matters. Okay. All right. Well, I will I will tempt uh, Vahi down with a ration and have him next to me. Watch. Alright, roll a handle animal with advantage. <laughs> handle animal with advantage. Oh, good feel. Nine. 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 Um, okay. <laughs> <R &D laughs> that okay. Sounds okay. <laughs> uh, Avahi is, is still pestering green. Like, just oh. like really bothering green, and green is just not having it. It's like. It's like, you know when like two cats meet each other and there's like this standoff, they're both staring at each other and nothing else distracts them? It's like that. I grab him by the saddle and I pull him to like look the other way with me. All right, go ahead and roll a, just an athletics check to try and pull him back. Better, 18. Uh, what's, it, what's the Lizard Town strength modifier? Can you just check for me real quick? One, oh, plus three. Plus three? Uh, you just, you beat him by one. He rolled a 14. <laughs> So you nice. manage you manage as he's like you kind of grab him, just pull him back and drag him like the nails are digging into the stone, but you just pull him back. <laughs> like eat, your, eat your food and look the other side. Uh -oh. The rest of you guys doing. Uh Borky's just like Borky just looks up at Green. Green, you doing okay? Alright, cool, you do you girl. Borky she sleeps back to very... sleep. She looks very agitated. Uh, Remy is going to go over to, to Volo. He's going to start taking off his armor, and then he's just going to plop down and think for a couple minutes before he attempts to sleep. Okay. Going for an angry sleep there, huh, Remy? Borky, please go to bed. Okay, fine, fine, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Green is like sitting over top of Borky as Borky's snoring. <coughs> Borky's got sleep. Borky's got sleep apnea. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what to tell you. Ah, oh, jeez. I'll <laughs> shove a shove a rock in his nose or something. <laughs> Uh, you, know what, you know what I do? I yeah, punch yeah. him. I was like, yeah, she something you did once. I punched you once, yeah. I also flipped your bed over once too because I was that angry. <laughs> oh. I don't I don't I want you to know I I I apologize for the guy that guy as a child breaking my nose, Nadine. I don't know what to tell you. I had to sleep on the bathroom floor at TwitchCon. It was rough. Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was. Not as bad anymore now that I'm properly cleaning up my nose. Anyway, anyway yeah. your nose notwithstanding. No, I want to let's talk about this a bit more, guys. Can I, roll I think you're staying catch? awake, right? Yeah, roll a perception, please. Sure, go ahead. Yeah. Stay awake. Oh! Oh, oh come on! Zeno. Zeno. 
Zito, now you know my All pain. Right, Nadine, Nadine, please don't make him fucking fall asleep. We need him awake. Ask, you fall asleep. Come on! Ah. Uh, God fucking damn it. That's I would, I would that's like to. I would like to say. Funny. That's really tragic. I would like to say. Um, before we all go to bed, I would like to, uh, do the same thing I did the night previous with my Sending Stone. Okay. Uh, just update Helena on everything. Okay. Uh, what, what would the message be? Just 25 words, obviously. Checking in. Met some cool rock dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Through some stuff in law, they liked my music. Kind of weird. You're cutting out every second. You're word cutting out head. every single second. I'm sorry. F fucking my asshole. I'm sorry, what? Uh, we're we're good. We'll do it. Let, let, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'll type it in. The, I'll type it in the chat. Type it in the chat. There you go. All right. All right. Let's Zeus uh, ain't here. As you guys are sleeping, um, Tass, the warmth of the cave and the warmth of Ivahi just kind of like you're like, uh, you fall asleep. It's been a pretty wild day. God like, damn it. <laughs> as you guys kind of stir. Um, I'm just gonna wait till Panic sends me his message so he gets a message back from, me from Helena. Well, this is uh, this has been an eventful trip for everybody. This is a predicament. Some, uh, some moments. There's been some moments. Some good moments. I just need to check. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I mean, double nat one's pretty like that's like the ultimate curse, but it's pretty cursed. Yeah, I was yeah. about to say, at least you weren't in combat like I was. I can't wait for a fucking like Terraria eyeball to be. Like... I was gonna say, you wake up and then nobody's there. You wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy now. Oh fucks you! I. Oh, God. We need to just set an alarm right. clock. <laughs> we need the alarm exist. spell. We need the alarm yeah, spell. We do. Yeah. To be fair, the alarm spell only activates when somebody enters your space. That's better than nothing. <laughs> That's fair. Mm. Mm. Alrighty. Mm. So you want to read out the try and read out the message? Panic. I will certainly make an attempt. Uh, checking in. Met some cool rock dudes. They liked my music, but they had to sacrifice some silver to Zeratan. And anyway, hope you're doing well. Ciao. All right. uh, I will take that spell when we get back to Alavast Task just for you. I'd like to learn spells too. <laughs> You're a ranger. You get like two. Panic, get, you get like, a message three. back before you go to sleep. Uh, Helena says, Welch is missing. Granelda is missing. Many guards are missing. Rock dudes? Like Zarv? Very cool. <laughs> we miss you. And that's all the message says. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh shit. Well, to everybody who got taken. Yep, yep, yep. Secret mission. I just, I just kind of just want Task and Darkest to, re to reenact that uh, the wonderful Taken uh, phone call scene. Oh, God. Uh, as you guys wake up, <sighs> oh, that was a good sleep time for my. All oh. of you have rocks on your chest. How uh, big of a rock? Oh god, they're not that big. They're like maybe three inches by three inches across, and they're they're relatively flat. Okay. Um, each of you has one on your chest. Does it have any uh, sort of like room carved uh, in it or anything? Guys, no, I, think, I think one of the gallop dirs is on me. It's just a rock. Okay. It's a little rock. Uh, Remy is gonna wake up looking like garbage and just throw it across the room. Ugh. <sighs> Task. I don't know what happened. Exhaustion oh, took the best of me. Uh, it's fine. We're all at least safe. Do we? It, does everyone have their things? I would yeah, check our shit. Uh, let's things. check. Who put the rocks hmm. on us? I don't know. Probably no, someone good. came into camp instead of killing us. Put down some Borky. rocks Borky. on Borky. our chest. Borky, it was probably the Galabdur. It's all right. Uh, 
all are the rocks just like random size discarded rocks or is it all sort of like uniform they all seem to be the same shape and size okay i'll okay. actually carefully pocket that one then yeah this this seems like a branding i'm gonna hold on to that yeah my pet rock i'll call you rock you know all things considered maybe it's some sort of symbol that we're allowed to or maybe, maybe somebody walked by us from the tribe and they were like, hey, this will keep them safe. I'll put a rock on their chest. Uh, or maybe it's like, a, all right, we like you. Here's a get back in for free. Just show this rock and we'll know that your uh, your rock is our rock. Uh, uh, ritual Gr cast detect magic. Okay. Um, all of the rocks have divination magic attached to them. Oh, uh, divination. So these are tracking. Great. Maybe? Well, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Now, divination. What's that? Uh, it's like seeing things. Like, uh, my my scrying when I when I look at people. Divination. So, are you saying these are seeing stones? Yeah. All the rocks are kind of like a light gray color. By the way, if I didn't specify it, it's like a light kind of um. <sighs> yeah, just a light gray, like a really nice light gray, right now. Hmm. And it's she gave us and it's 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 definitely divination and not sort of any mixture of magic I was witnessing, right? There's there's a little primordial in there, but it's like slight. The majority mm. of it is divination specifically, yeah. I'm assuming that these were the Galabdurs that gave them to us. I think they might be trying to, to track us. I don't know. Are they trying to uh, track they us didn't or protect us. I don't know. Uh I you still know what? I I bet I bet it was in case something tried to come and eat us and they jostled the stones and then they would come to our rescue. Is that that's, that's my theory. That's kind of what I'm guessing. I still think it's a safe passage kind of. Th if this is some kind of over a over glorified past, then I say we hold on to the Fine. I'm uh, just gonna really? get up and march across the room and pick up his stone. Yeah, yeah. real quick, Greckles is gonna inside room real hard. With a big fat 12. Uh, you've been around him long enough to know he's agitated because of probably still the orc camp. He's not in his right mind. Greckles is then going to just kind of zip on over and just kind of get right next to him. Remy, what's the problem? What do you mean, what's the problem? I don't... It's a rock. It's a divination rock. That I'm not talking to. about the rock, Remy. Oh, come on. Out of all of us, you're the most level-headed. Hey. You don't hear this unless unless we're gonna yeah, try and <laughs> right. I actually am gonna actively try and listen to this. Go for uh, it. I, I will attempt to hide it. Uh what will that what conflicting rules will that be? I think you'd be deception, he'd be uh perception. Perception. Yeah, I'm I'm fucking hearing on this too. Fuck it. Twelve. Good luck with the twenty. Uh oh seven. shit, yeah. there you go. No, so he'll, Pink will just will just see you two going off on your own. He'll just be like, huh, and then he'll Birds. get ready. Birds. <laughs> or he also perceives. Hmm. <laughs> Dem, Dem birds is up Dem to birds. Green Dem is birds. snoring right in your ear. Yeah. Birds. <sighs> so I mean, these rocks. So whatever these rocks is, you saying they're divination rock? Shh. Remy, you could have died back there because of. I hate to say it, but because your arrogance. No, Greckle, I was going to die because I'm stupid. Well, then stop it. <laughs> you guys can laugh. You guys can laugh. He's being no, serious. No, 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 no. That's legit fair, though. <laughs> Just right to the point. It's great. No, it's good. Greckles, I thought I was over this, and I'm not. And it's... I'm sorry. I just... I... I'll focus, I promise. Greckles looks over the guys. Hey guys, how much time do we have before we're gonna pick up and go? Uh, uh I'm thinking not much longer now. I think we should just get going as soon as possible. Can, really. Panic. Can you give me just ten minutes? Okay, you've got it. <sighs> you've got. Take five. a look at the rest of the group. And <laughs> All right, Remy. I'm gonna. Okay, Remy, sit down. All right. 
face the wall, and Greckles will just sit with him. Okay. We did this before. Find a point in the wall and just stare at it. You have a spot? Uh, y- yes. Now, put your hands together, one talon over the other, lock the thumb. All right, like, like this? Uh, a little bit like that. There, There you go. I want you to stare at that spot and not think and just breathe in slow through your no- through your nose out slow don't think about anything if if a thought comes in let it come in and let it leave naturally there we go just focus on the spot hey panic task porky will you guys let us know when time's up Yep. All right, thanks. Tash stares and into the middle distance. Time's and up for what, exactly? I don't Panic know. is staring at them. Yeah. So that's... Uh, you, the- you'll all see basically Remy just up now meditating with Greckles. Yeah. And then after, like, whatever time limit there is, Remy will open his eyes. Yeah, just whenever you guys decide to, to come guess. This is just... Gre- Greckles? All right, wake up. Uh. Uh. Gosh, Task, jeez. Greckles, what did you cast? It wasn't a cast, it wasn't a spell. It was a type of meditation that I learned back in, uh... Back at the village. I can't believe that actually worked. There's Task standing right above them. I mean, uh, if he so chooses to, I'm still, yeah, I'm still uh, trying Tash, to whisper a few things. <laughs> Task just, like, fucking puts his hands on both their shoulders. All right, gentlemen. Are your minds clear? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, pretty good. good. Onward, onward, yes. Now stand up. We're still in right. a cave full of galloperers. Right, right. Do we know where we're headed? That uh, way, I guess. Yeah, there's only really way. one direction. All right. Remy's going to pocket the stone. Okay. Uh, you guys gather your things, and you travel through the cave for another, probably another two hours. Um, it's not that, like, the cave is really, really long. It's just very hard to maneuver through. Um, mm. there are points where there's just, like, giant, like, 90-foot drops. Stuff like that. Mm. And having to transport your lizard hounds, who they can climb, but are still in a very tight space, is a bit challenging. Um, at this point as well, Remy, Volo is really getting stir-crazy, too, at this point. A little bit more patient than the lizard hounds, but still misses the sky quite a significant bit. Not used to being underground at all usually does he seem like water or food would at least help quell him you you offer him food and water and he eats it but he eats it in a way that's just like he like i gotta eat to survive um sick animal eating yeah kind of um eventually you guys begin to see something up ahead in the perception check likewise perception all around with advantage for remy and and normal for 11. Uh, why am i getting Hmm? Depending, I would still have uh, detect magic up. Uh, oh, it's gone. Long this took. You, you've been traveling for hours, yeah, so it's right. gone. Yeah. You're um, fine. All right, right. You guys both see, because you both rolled high enough, uh, that there is oh. light up ahead. But with it, Remy, you smell something. All right. Whereas you smell the brimstone of the lava, you smell ash, burnt wood burnt grass and I'm going to say those remaining can make a perception check with their ears besides task and uh, Remy because you guys did visual. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's a fast 17. Okay. Uh, Panic, you hear voices up ahead um, speaking in a tongue that you do not know. Um, You hear movement but you're not sure what it is i'll 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 go ahead and i'll just just go psst. yeah try to get everybody's attention voices up ahead i can't understand them do you smell that <laughs> smells like this burning wood and grass we might be in dragon territory uh, could I try to? Story. Could I try to? Since I can hear them, could I try to just repeat some of the words? To- sure. Yeah, I'll say 
you repeat some of the words and tasks you pick up on, on it right away. It is draconic. You weren't wrong. That's draconic you're speaking. So did the voice get of some variety? Like rum, like deep and rumble, like they were coming from a large creature or from normal? Uh, with that perception check, it sounds like not a huge creature. It was pretty, it's not like, like really loud. It's, it's like, sounds like idle conversation. Task. Yeah. Can you hear what they're saying? Can I perception again? Sure. I'm going to say roll a stealth check to approach and then you can roll a perception check. Okay. Well, here I go. 18. 18. Yeah. Easy enough. You kind of, you go right Ooh. up against the wall and you kind of wander forward. Uh, roll a perception check for me. Roll 20. Calm down, please. Uh, 19, both ways. Okay. Double numbers all over. Um, the gist of what you can hear, it's really, really hard to hear, um, is they should have been back by now. We're not going in there. We'll wait for orders, blah, blah, blah. And this has no flavor to it. That that was a word? This has no flavor to it? Yeah, you heard another voice, like, just further away, go, this has no flavor to it, complaining. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to back up and relay that to everyone else. Well, we're definitely not in flavor country, that's for sure, guys. We were told the dragons, the dragons had an encampment, right? An old city that they took over? Right, yeah. but apparently these two are waiting on someone. Who went through this passage? I, I don't right think Galabdur then. Your, your mind flashes to the Galabdur is about to throw panic into the pool. Oh, he might be dead. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we have a couple of options anyway. We could try to sneak past, or we could tr we could trick them into back here and then ambush them. Oh, I was I was thinking I was thinking that. Let me throw my voice since I speak. Like, all right, okay. What's the message to be like? Ah, oh, I hurt my leg. Or what are you thinking? Hmm. I'm all about an ambush. It's so much fun. I'm I'm going to uh, I'm going to cry out in uh, draconic like. Like, kind of like almost in a raspy voice. Like, more raspy. What? what? Before, we got to, we, should we take a strategy position for this? Or? Yeah, let's 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 talk this above game really quick, because we also know what terrain we're with and we have options to. Okay. Yeah, right, on, this, uh, on this tunnel right now, is it just a straight tunnel? Nothing really? It is it, a 10-foot wide tunnel. Yeah. Okay. Um, Any... Unfortunately, I, I do not have a map for the tunnel. It, when was the, is it just a straight line, or when was the nearest curve? Uh, the nearest curve is probably about 60 feet back, this, this, this exit. So it's point. like a straightaway just to the end of the tunnel? Yeah, which is how you guys saw the light so far well, away. Uh, let's ask, let's ask, how many voices did you hear? Two. All right. uh, you count at least three. Oh, three, I'm sorry. Yeah, you count at least three of them. Here's, here's the question, though. If they're not isolated, other people will be coming looking for it relatively quickly. And here's another thing. If this is the cult and they can't... Etch us, they have hostages. Task, I have an idea. Since you can actually understand what they're saying, I can just turn you invisible. It doesn't sound like they're very bright, so they probably wouldn't be able to see through it. I could turn you invisible. You could go out and scout all recon, and then we could possibly figure out what to go what to do from there. Whether we could right. sneak past or it's not a bad fight. idea. Alright, hit me. Alright, so Gre Gre Greckles is going is going to Clasp his hands. And he's just gonna kind of ball you up and down, and then you just disappear. All right. Uh, I'm gonna leave an arrow on the floor for them. When this moves, I'll be back. Uh, and I I stealth over to reach the mouth of the cave to see who's out there. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna show you a map because I do have a map of this. Oh snap! Uh, you you have that for an hour, by the way. So ah, uh, excellent. I'm gonna try and find a good invisibility icon. There is not one. Just just put a status Don't you have on the wavy lines. Put, <laughs> put an eye status on task or something. I have the wavy lines. All right. The wavy lines. All right. Oh, oh snap! Oh. I'm so glad you did this. <laughs> All right. So. Oh. Oh shit! Oh boy. Okay. See, uh, ahead of you, as you exit out the camp, you see the entire land is scorched. It very clearly has had a fire run through here. Um, the moment you exit out, 
the entire grass is just black. Uh, there is little foliage coming out between it, but it has been stamped down thoroughly. You see about seven humanoid individuals of varying races, specifically, mostly human, actually, surprisingly. Hmm. Um, and you see two guard drakes currently, like, fighting between a piece of what appears to be an arm, an orc arm. Do I see the whistle that commands them? No, these guys don't have whistles. Oh, oh, all right. <laughs> oh no, they joined for the health plan. You remember that Tarisk was a very primitive version of a of a guard drake, and many people said so. Hmm. All right. Well, this is not a good idea to walk into. So I'm going to walk back into the cave. You. Above game, I actually have an idea. Is it okay if I pitch it? Sure. Pitch it in game. Okay. Let's ask uh, it back though first. Below yeah, game. Back. game we don't know yet. All right, uh, you guys watch as the arrow is risen from the floor. Lower your, keep your voices down. Okay. <laughs> Lots of humans. There's a bunch of cultists out there. I counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven cultists and two guard drakes. I worry, yes. I mean, we could fight them. Tass, if... they were they were armed to the teeth. Uh, Tass just like Tass just like waggles the fucking arrow. You can't see me right now saying this. No, you are. That is a suicide mission. You are going up against every single person with a singular personal armory. Hey, 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 hey! I has an idea. Well, let's hear it. Okay, two just two quick questions above game. How far of a walk was it from the Galabder area? Oh, like like two hours, nah, if not too more. Far. It's too yeah. far. All right, my pitch above game. Okay, I'll do it in game. I'll do it in character. All right, here's an idea, actually. Since we're around this corner here, they can't see us. One of us could make a noise. Some come in and check. Try and get them to talk while they're on their way walking. Now, Crackles, you have an ability where you can sound like another fella. Yeah, I suppose Why don't so. Why don't you remember their voice? So once we take them out, we, as one of them, call out for even more help. Two, jump two ambushes. At least it's a risk. It's a risk we're taking. We can bottleneck them in this cave multiple times. I can all fall apart after the first attempt. But the attempt, but the prize. That's not a horrible idea. I'm just trying to think of how we can make it more convincing. Task, you said that they were quite heavily armed. Did they have any kind of harpoons or nets? Did I see what weapons they had? Uh, you saw swords. You also saw that uh, two of them were holding really, really weird looking orbs. Um, the rest uh, appear to be just armed with swords, but they're, they have armor too. I'm just imagining we have this flow chart, flow chart of strategies, and we just have this big red button that says "drop the beat." Somebody in the Discord devil. We have <laughs> here's 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 the thing. Here's the thing. Yeah, I have a couple of things that I could do in this situation as well. You said they had that campfire. They have a campfire. Two of uh, perfect. Two of them were holding some sort of orb. I'm going to assume that it's some kind of magic, while the rest of them are just armed to the teeth with armor and sword. Well, it's probably didn't As trendy. you guys are having this conversation, one of the cultists passes through the mouth of the cave, like just walking on the outside, like just across it. I need everyone to roll stealth checks. He has oh, God! Well, we were, I thought we were around the corner. No, you guys are a straight shot. Oh, wait. Yeah. Okay. All right. Stealth suit. 25. Well, I get advantage because I'm invisible. It, oh yeah, you're good. You don't have to roll at all. You automatically 25. succeed. Twelve. It, it, is, it is a group chat, by the way. So. Oh thank, oh, god. thank god. Eighteen. Oh good god, please, Remy, please. Ooh. Twelve. It's above oh, ten. Wow. It's above <laughs> ten, dude. I'll take it. As as this guy kind of walks past and gazes into the cave, immediately you guys all like hide behind stalagmites and just hold your breath. And as he disappears, you guys all go back to your planning. Listen, we're not going to have a lot of time. They're eventually going to see us panic. If you can create a distraction, you remember the boat when we were at least outnumbered, I say retreat to the better part of Vela. If we can cause a distraction, we can run past them. We okay. all have mounts and can fly. What are, okay, so we're trying to 
run. That's the plan. But the problem is, once we leave the cave, we don't even know where the hell we at. Should I... There's scorched earth. Okay, I... I have two ways I can do this. Uh, one is a bit more permanent. <laughs> I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go with the less permanent option first and keep the other one as a ba backup plan. Panic. I yes. still I still have that commander's badge and the sword. Actually, you still have those. Yep, sure do. Do you have any way of masking yourself as one of them? Possibly getting them to turn the other way while we slip out and then you slip out eventually? Ooh, uh, well, I don't speak Draconic. That might be a bit of a problem. Mm. Uh, secondly, why would I be in there? Tess, didn't you say that they were waiting on someone to come back out? Apparently so. They spoke of they spoke of people once inside, and they're still waiting on them. Well, they ain't coming back out, that's for sure. Well, we could probably use that to our advantage. It's a pretty big guess to... Do we really some... want to try to fight all of these, or do we want to try to get past them? That's the big thing I... that we have to figure out. I think we're going to run, but... Mm... My plan involves killing at least two of them, or disabling them. You can well, kill as many as you want. Out. I just don't advise it, fighting all of them. Here's the thing. No matter what. Um, real fast, Bork, uh, Bork, uh, uh, Bork is like, we should go around the corner if we're going to talk any more about this. Let's just go back to down the path a little bit, just so we can avoid them seeing us. Yeah. Come on, come on, everyone. Hey, okay, guys, head back. At this point, you have no vision and no hearing. You can't hear anything that you're doing or saying. So that's if you fine. Just turn the corner, that's the trade-off. Yeah, you guys, you guys tuck behind the corner. Okay, but here's the thing: we jump out, we 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 run out of that puddle, and it's chaos. We don't know where's we at. We don't know where's north, where's south, where's east, where's up, where's down. We're entering scorched area. This nice. is probably where dragons are. Yeah, I know it's where dragon is, but so, where is where? Where is the mountain? What direction should we go? We don't know this information. According so we to run that, right into another group of guys. So, app, whereabouts would we be? Uh, based on the information that you were given to, uh, given from Abella, this was the cave they used to escape from the dragons when they remade their camp to the to the south. So this is to the north. Uh, it's the northwest of Tettelheim, exactly. So okay, can, you were you were exactly way we west could, of Tettelheim, essentially. Could we could we see that map again just so I have a better understanding? Like upload sure. it as an image. I will say, oh, like like um, Captain Deuce map. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. Right. I don't want to have to readjust everything on on OBS. I'm just going to show it so you guys can see it, and then. Oh, okay, cool. All right. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, so we are orcs, so, maybe. More or less, you guys should be somewhere right about there. Yeah. Okay, by the X. Okay. Yeah. So. I'm thinking. So we're trying to go. So, so we're further north than we have to be, or do we want to go just straight? We need to go further, actually, up north, don't we, in order to get to the where, mountain? Because it was past okay, yeah. the brow. So. Well, where are we? Are we doing the orcs first, or are we? What's what's happening here? We have to. Uh, we're not even. Hit, you're gonna hit the orcs no matter. We're gonna what. hit the orcs no matter what. But like, we're just yeah. trying to make sure that we're heading we're, on the right path. We're trying. We're trying to go further north past the brow. Because we're as far west as we need to be, so we need to go due north, correct? To your knowledge, yes. I mean, okay. no one, no one really knows what's beyond the uh, tribe to the north, so it's it's a mystery. Okay. Do we know if when we we're spit out of that tunnel, if we're going to be facing north or if we'll be that's my whole? That's you above, guys that's are the facing north. The moment you guys exit that tunnel, down is north. So okay, so straight ahead is north. So we do know that. So that's key. Like that, that that was the big thing about this entire strategy. So if we're going to yeah, run right out there, straight for, straight for out the, of this tunnel and down. For the sake for the sake of this, I will do this really fast. Okay, thank you. Bless you. God Woo, bless. Compass rose. No, then. Okay, see, this is Whoa. that's huge. Oh boy! Yeah. All right. So okay, that. There we go. There we go. I, right, I was about to say north, south, west, and left. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Don't question my intelligence. <laughs> it, it, it is, I thought it, you okay. said west. We, we all uh, say that the, we all say that the, the the West family don't actually have this the, don't have an effect to society. But look, they we've created purposes because of them. I always think of the 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 fairy odd parents north well north south east and west. We have tattoos on our chest except for Larry. Every time. <laughs> anyway, 
Hey, man, never eat soggy <laughs> waffles. That's how you remember it. All, All right, right let's, let's focus. So, oh, okay, so due north is straight ahead. So, again, distraction, sprint, fly, whatever it takes. I like, we try to do a distraction, though. We've got four giant lizards and a giant bird riding an even bigger giant bird. Right. It's conversation worthy. So Mm. You said they had so, orbs. So if they see a single one of us, they will be brazing down us. Because I believe the damn orbs you saw was the same sending goddamn orbs that they'd be using. That's why they're a coordinated military force. Well, I don't, I don't know how common or orbs of sending are. I mean, I got mine from a celestial. Oh, sorry. You said you were going to have to take out. You said you were going to have to take out two of them. Which two were you thinking? Well, there were two of them. The mouth of the cave, as far as we knew, though they're definitely going to see us, but the rest of them will not. We don't have to, we could run right past them, but they are going to get a good look at us. I just know I spoil. No. Uh, sure, whatever fey language that was. They're also not going to see Task, which is key. Right, they're not. They're looking for me specifically. And he's oh, invisible. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you. If these, if these fellows, this force is looking, this man with all these resources, I'm not just poo pooed a plan. Oh, these are good plans. But if he, if he is told, this darkest fellow, if he's told, hey, we saw an orc, two kankus, and a tiefling, you know, you know, he'll know it's up. That's the problem with it. So what do you suspect? What do you what do you uh, suggest we do? Or go maybe back he around, won't. Go back Task around and is, find another Task place. Is the one, Task is the one he's looking for. I don't think he knows about us. Listen, if, if he sees orcs, there's dozens, hundreds maybe of orcs in the area. That means nothing. The Kenkus may be a tiefling perhaps, but he will not see Task. The moment, but damn it! The one thing about the one thing that's a problem about that is that Darkest knows who you are because he saw me on the Griffin. <sighs> so, what if we load a couple in? When Dead Head Greco's dude, I'm gonna go back to my plan. Above game, uh, I, I, I I pitch my idea again. Uh, the idea lure, the lure them in, take a few out, and then run. Lure, lure them in again, but we have to take those first two out very quietly. As quietly as possible. I, my my worry is mm -hmm. I don't want them to call in one of their dragon friends and then just have it breath weapon in the mouth of the cave and kill us all. I think out in the open would be better for us because at least we can escape. You know something I could do, guys? Now that I'm mm -hmm. thinking about it, this, this kind of harkens back to um, all those fire giant birds. I could actually throw out an illusion of a silver dragon whatever i can have that go about 60 feet out so we'd be having limited space but we could distract them for just a little bit well how about i got an eye why not like a red dragon that's injured falling to the ground wait 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 hang on well i'm not run, what dude i'm not running no, no, away no. or anything i'm just no 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 you have you're, whoa, whoa, you're giving me pop the brakes pop the brakes you're, you're, you're got no you're giving me a good idea Hmm? Task, you're, st Task, you're still invisible. Yes. Unless they're really smart. I possibly could throw out an illusion of a red dragon, at least a small one. Order them to, you could order them to disperse, speaking through that illusion. Because they can't see you. Hmm. I like, I actually like that idea. But if that gets fucked, then I'm in the open seven you're not out in the open. You that doesn't that doesn't break until you do something aggressive. Check All right. concentration on the spells as well, Greckles, just in case you need to drop concentration Con on invisibility. Uh, con concentration up to ten minutes. That's two con. It, it's that's two concentration spells then, because I believe oh, wait, no, 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 no. you two. can do both. Okay, that's right. That's right. That's right. Okay, yeah. never mind. Uh, so, damn it, they balanced it. I, either way, <laughs> you, this is this is still going under the assumption that they are dumb. There's seven they of them are, out there that's they are 25 percent chance that one of them will see through the illusion yeah they're far too coordinated for that but also we could i don't want to take that risk well how are we gonna how are we gonna lure them in bit by bit 
you, I remember you, you, you talked about throwing a voice, but we don't know how many that's going to pull in, and then they're all going to be aware. What'd you say there was eaten? You said there was eaten an orc. Did I? I don't remember their, that bit. Their, their guard, their guard drakes were eating the remains of orcs. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the guard drakes were eating the remains no of orcs. No idea what the cultists were eating. Their backs were facing you. Hmm. Also orcs. <laughs> all all of orcs. Not made on the menu. Listen, Damn, this is... To, we have to try something. <sighs> Look, we... Uh, hang on, hang on. This we might can be... either... Hang on. Go for it. They're waiting for someone to come back in. We don't know what they sound like, but that may not matter if it's far enough away. Task, you're still invisible. If you just called out to them in Jachronic saying, hey, one or two of you give me a hand in here, one or two may go in. We might be able to jump them. If we could take them out quickly. Then how, we might how, be able to how, 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 about, how, how about this? You could say, hey, guys. I need some help. You won't believe what I found. Well, my original plan was was to say in a raspy, almost injured voice, Gallop Dur, or Stone Monsters. Help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. As long as we can set something up. Uh, Monty, is, is, are we turned around a corner? Are we still just in a straight line in the cave? You guys We're... are around the corner. You specified yep. that you want to be around the corner. So you, okay. have no idea. you have no idea what's been going on. I still have... Um, I... I, I guarantee you, we turn this corner, they're going to be right on top of us. That's well, fine. I, my I other solution mm, is a bit more drastic. I could summon the Discord Devil. Let me that... let me scream for help first. Well, in the cave, I want the us to be out of the cave and able Actually, to run away a... from the Discord Devil. That's a very good idea. If you summon it right in the middle, it's going to wreak havoc on that camp. Yeah. Forky, there's just that red button gesturing towards it. Mm. I, I, I do, that's I do like that. I do that's like a, that idea. It's extremely durable, and they're all going to have to deal with it. All right, fine. The thing is, I don't know what kind of devil it's going to summon, and I can't control it. It's you going to be right. some... But we don't, don't have to stick to. around to see what happens. It's going exactly. to be... Okay, yeah. okay. I just want you to know what we have just come to is the galaxy quest rock summoning the rock <laughs> rock transporters strategy above game connor i fucking love that idea it's like that dinosaur good. levels of smart all right <laughs> so so here's so just above game really quick tasks visible sneaking out is going to be tough because we have no cover we're not going to sneak out we're that thing is going to hopefully buy us a tail dude right out okay that was a lot of people talking what we're not we're not sneaking, we're bailing. The moment the fucking thing is dropped, we run. Run. Okay. Okay, I was just trying to make as sure. As soon as Volo can hit the air, fucking I'm flight speed the fuck out. Oh, as long as you don't run the dragons in the air. Because you're gonna be easy to see. I would say stay on the ground, honestly. You're gonna be hard to see. If you're in the air. Mm. I'm turning the corner to see if there anyone's looking in the mouth. Okay, as you turn the corner, there is one of the guys is just kind of like, not like actively like, ooh, I'm investigating, but just like kind of like leaning in and looking into the cave. And like, you kind of like jolt for a second, forget that you're invisible and you're like, oh wait, I'm invisible. And you watch right. and he just kind of leans back up against the wall on the outside of the cave. Whatever we're doing, they're getting inquisitive. They're not moving, but they're still waiting. Panic, are you ready? Okay. All right, I'm going to summon it. And then we need to move immediately. And don't get close to it. Everyone get on your mounts now. Yep, get on right. the mount. Okay. Get on Volo. Green, come here. Are we sure that these mounts are not going to be terrified by the devil? No. So let's try to make sure that it's not in a pathway directly to the north. Exactly. exactly. If we have, we'll run slightly to the east or west and then head due north. We head to the east because if we go west, we're going right. And if we go, uh, I'm sorry, we go west because if we go east, we're going right into the fucking city. Mm -hmm. Yeah, east is to Tettelheim, which is where all the dragons. No, are. no, we go west. We so, fucking so, run west. So, so bank east out of here and then head due north. Mm. That way you can put the devil. No, no, we bank west. We, we bank west, dude, not east. Or that's what I meant. Yes, words are hard sometimes. <laughs> they are. <laughs> okay. 
<clears throat> All right, let's dash action then, I guess. I have, I have good news and bad news. Okay, uh, yes. <laughs> Give us the bad news, news first. Uh, I lost the chart for what determines what random devil you get. Uh, oh, good news. But the good news is I'm just going to find a solution, a temporary solution for now. Excellent. Okay. Um, but I'm really sorry about that. I don't know where that went. Um, it was. Uh, I had it written down in here. I thought, but I guess, I guess, I guess I didn't. So I could, I could roll like a d6. Like how, how many? There were the, there was the I percussion mean, devil, the hurdy devil, brass, uh, brass devil, devil, the hurdy, the harp, brass, the devil. string. Five. I think there's five, but let me just make sure. I could just roll one d5 then. Uh, yeah, roll roll a 1d5 for me, and I will determine it based on the alignment it of the cheese. It doesn't out. exist. It does. Uh, roll a but, 1d10, and then we'll just do one. No, I mean, you can, you can make I, it I, exist. I, I, it, doesn't, it doesn't exist, but roll 20 doesn't play by reality's the rules. Power it's true. Of computer. Did it roll? Oh, yeah, there it is. Three. There you go, three. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> what? Oh, no. Oh, boy. Alrighty. <laughs> I love this idea. I like I, I am, so I am turning on those who I'm... I just want you to know every strategy I'm like, can we summon the Discord devil? It's just it's I'm... the red <laughs> button of like it's like no. the nitrous button in the men in black vehicle. Summon okay. So, <laughs> Alright. <laughs> you you pull out catharsis. You guys yeah, I'm just, just gonna summon... look Okay, this is I I Really wish it wasn't this one because I'm missing all the information for it. You just summoned, oh no! You just summoned a woodwind devil, which is the spellcaster. Oh, <laughs> oh Shiza! So, I'm gonna summon. I'm summoning it right in the middle of like all of them, so that it all of them so, get hit with a dissonance. So this is the sequence of events that happen. Oh, here we go. You guys get on your mounts and you hold your breaths and you kick your lizard hounds. You immediately take off in the tunnel, like turning the corner and start running. The moment that happens, the two guards who are guarding the entrance turn in and go, hey, hey, as you guys burst through, you thrust out your hand panic and you summon the discord devil. I need everyone to roll. I need everybody to roll. I need everyone to roll initiative for me for this. Oh, so here we go. I have to 18. Nice. Let's go. 13. All right. 10. Oh shit. Well. Okay. okay, this is gonna be very interesting. I'm just gonna go to that. Uh, so we have Remy. Remy got the first initiative. Hey! And then we it. have Greckles. And then we have Task, uh, Panic, and surprisingly, Borky at the end. Yeah, I know, right? Time to time to grab some appropriate music for this lovely experience. Oh, let's get the banjo. Is, is it in the air tonight by Phil Collins? I can beat it. You know the exact uh, part where the Discord devil since, shows up. Since I'm not going to be right back. I got to pee real bad. All right, yeah, go ahead. I also got to go to the bathroom. Can I? Yeah, go pee. What are you guys doing during the break? Jesus. I right. <laughs> I went upstairs and Mum was there. Oh well. Yeah. Oh well. You only have one bathroom you in your Paris? Whole house. No, no. My mom, mom wanted to talk. Oh. Why, fair why'd you Why'd you even go upstairs? Is the bathroom downstairs? I wanted to get dinner. Oh. I wish I had. You were dinner. too ambitious. I know that was my fault. You were just <laughs> go to the oh, no, bathroom. My hair stuck in my go in my headset. Oh no. Oh, my God. Ah. oh shit. <laughs> Caster, I love you, Connor. Holy shit, man! It's that not was even so the smart. fact that the caster. It's just that was so uh, smart, uh, oh, though. Born. Fucking damn it! I was. I'm sorry. I'm I, so I, sorry about losing that thing. I I will try to find it. I no, that's, I I'm I sure you I have it somewhere. It down with their stats. That's what I thought I had. It was. It was my initial thought. I wanted to cast Panic's pyrotechnics to create a big smoke screen around them. But this, this is so this is my better. more permanent solution. <laughs> This is so much better though, because they're gonna be distracted with it because they're not gonna think to phone anybody with that thing it's, killing them. It's it's also a physical thing too. Like it, you, we can't trick them into anything. <laughs> Something is there oh, and they have to no. do it. Monty, Hi. just, uh, I don't know if that, I don't know if that is, uh, uh, Jesus, that thing how, is big. How far away can I summon this? Thing? What is what is the the range on summon demon? That is the spell summon. it emulates. So. Summon demon. I can summon summon greater demon or summon summon fiend. I think is 
It's um, there's minor and then there's just the there's some are, some in lesser, yeah. yeah. Some in greater demon, some in lesser demon. So is lesser's range, range is sixty uh, feet. Sixty feet. Yep. Okay, yeah. So sixty feet, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to pop it uh right here, fifty feet away from me. So like right. yeah, right there. Perfect. Oh right. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna All of them <laughs> Make constitution <laughs> saving throws. <laughs> we have to be careful not to get in the range, though. While we're we got a hard. We are banking west. fucking west. <laughs> yeah, we are. Just make sure you don't run past anybody directly, because there I is a gap. Right panic now. thinks back to, <laughs> to the panic thinks back to all of those big muscle women calling him weak, and he's just like, eh, how dare <laughs> summon a disorder? <disrespectful." laughs> Oh yeah, can you do this, it, Dab? It can't, it can't, it can't be, it cannot be any worse than being fucking trapped with that percussion devil in the, the freaking bath. Okay, I gotta grab its spells here, because it's got some spells. <laughs> oh it's my god! Some, it's got some spells. Monty was like, this was the one thing Sir, I didn't this, expect, how could you? This is the worst Ma one, because it's Master Darkest, there is something that's roaming the land, <laughs> killing all our soldiers. <laughs> What's up, Monty? You were saying something? Yes, I fucking love this guy. <laughs> Fuck. That's the sound of somebody who's so done with our shit. Can it be charming though? Hold on. God, I have like 15 books out right now. And How long does it take to see. pee? Jesus. I'm right here. <laughs> Not no, you. she needs her brother. <laughs> You're good, Zito. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> see, that's why I... How long does it take to pee? I'm right here. I know. <laughs> that's 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 why I snuck out when I wasn't important. There's compulsion. Where is that? It's I a have fourth, it. Uh, it's a fourth level. Okay. Yeah. Oh fuck. Da, 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 I bet da, your brother's da, da, having the religious experience, P. He does. <laughs> his, <laughs> no, his his mom stopped him again and was like, uh, <laughs> "Oh, you know, hey, there." Can we talk about the Dewey Decimal System? Oh, <laughs> well, you should really go talk to your sister. Oh no, I'll leave me alone. <laughs> I think she might have a head cold. Oh. <laughs> uh. God, I'm just trying to figure out I what imagine. spells it has. It has, okay. It has enemies abound. <laughs> Meaning? And... It could summon more? <laughs> oh no. No, 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 no. That's not what it does. Yeah, it is it, much it, it funnier than that. Discord devils. <laughs> it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty funny. <laughs> Where were you when the dragon cultists were taken over by Discord de devils? Remember that time uh -oh, we were supposed to uh, kill? Hey, hey, Grandpapa, does this get uh -oh. me in? <laughs> <laughs> Do I, do I have like a nice room in hell when I die? <laughs> do I have the penthouse? Penthouse, yeah. The right. penthouse. Where, Got I just the love you love sleep. me now, dad! <laughs> uh, what, else, what else does this thing have? Vicious mockery, thunderclap, and friends. Why? Aww. Charm person, <laughs> listen it whispers, hideous laughter and sleep, calm emotions and thrall, hold person suggestion, enemies abound, hypnotic pattern, compulsion, and dominate person. What the fuck? Jeez. Stop being a better spellcaster than I am. <laughs> it's all it's got, man. It's Stop all it's got. Okay, I didn't, I didn't summon you so you could be no, he's a no, 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 he's a real tank and, caster. And I can't wait for this one Discord devil to just start a rebellious movement in the fucking This is fucking the third thing. most powerful one, too. This isn't even the most powerful one you can summon. I think Connor, the most powerful one is the harp, though, right? Con Connor, you fucking uh, summon this thing in, and the fucking deal with its shades falls from the sky. <laughs> Kurt, are you here? Is Kurt? I'm right here. Sorry. Oh, there, oh there, we go. there we go. There we go. There we go. All right, you're last in the initiative order, though. So you're all fine. right, you are. Uh, all right. So the Woodwind Devil gets dropped onto the battlefield, and immediately Remy, you are first. Okay. Uh, with question with my passive uh, perception, which is 16, we're we out of the tunnel passive. now, right? We don't use passive. Oh, you don't use it in okay, this cool. game. No. Uh, if I just look up, do I see anything in the sky when I come out of this tunnel? Roll a perception check. Oh, that's going to be important to know so I can know what to do. Uh, 19. Yes, there are dragons in the sky right now. Ah! Um, of them, you, how... see, oh, you, yep. you see quite a few wormlings, about 10 wormlings. Uh, the one that immediately freaks you out is there is a young blue dragon that apparently Jesus. is far off. It's more towards the towards the east, but it is far off. It hasn't obviously noticed you guys, but it is in the air currently flying. Oh, that's really bad. All right. Well, then 
I'm going to stick to the plan. And we are going to move. Uh, let me double uh, check the move speed. of. Yep. I, I just have a quick question. So technically with my surprise round, I'm guess I'm guessing that was a there surprise is, round to summon the Discord is, Devil? Yeah, your surprise round was for you guys to move and summon the Discord Devil without being caught. So that's what your surprise round was. And now we're in the normal turn order as everyone so that took up my, to you. That was my whole turn then? That was your turn, yeah. That's okay, it. Okay, all right. Like, just for the sake of just... ease, that's what that is. Because I gotcha, I gotcha. All right. Quickly. Yeah. So, uh, because... I mean, no, that's, the east. that's the wrong way! Sorry, I meant to go this way. It's the exact same thing. <laughs> uh, it was east. East. Brought that way, east. Yeah, we All right, so uh, Remy and Volo are going to run off screen to the west. All right, you take off. Uh, are you taking off into the air? Uh, if I can at least get enough off the ground to use his flight speed, so we're talking like 10 feet, just to almost glide and then touch down. Uh, roll a like handle. I'm... I'm gonna say roll a handle animal because that's kind of a weird maneuver. Okay. But you can you can attempt to actually Griffin, Griffin flying would be yeah. Griffin riding, eleven. Okay, um, kind of works. Okay, you're still on the ground because even even Volo's like, oh god. I'll take it. We're still moving at least sixty feet, so we're off the map. So could you show me where you're moving to? You're yeah, moving so to, where to the, I will to show the you, west. Yeah. Oh, to that the way? west, so I'm basically going this way off the map. All right, this guy is going to get a swing at you as you're leaving. Well, no, because he wouldn't provoke, because if I go that line right there. No, you're within you... five feet. You're entering oh, and leaving yeah, combat fine. range. So he's, 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 he's going to take a swing at you. Cool. Hey, that takes away his reaction. It does. Mm-hmm. You can just deny him that. Uh, that's cocked. How do we roll that? Please roll low. That is not a low roll. That is gonna be a 24 to hit you. Uh, you know what? Uh, Remy, as he's running by, will cast his reaction of shield okay. and that will miss. All right, you watch as he swings out his blade, it actually erupts into flames and Ow. you manage to shield as the fire kind of laps over the shield and you take off into the air. Uh, immediately they start yelling in Draconic. Uh, Task, you hear them yell, bring out the call, bring out the call! And like kind of barking orders at each other. Uh, it is now the Woodwind Devil's turn. <laughs> oh God, uh, I'm off. Am I off the map, Monty? By the way. Yeah, you're off the map. Okay, so but you're I'll still just technically disappear. in combat. Technically, okay. you're not. You're still in the turn order. Uh, the Woodwind Devil is going to look at the leader of this particular platoon, and is going to cast <laughs> compulsion on I, it. I, one will imagine smoking a cigarette. Like, uh. <laughs> They're currently like going over mission plans. Um. Uh, and he has to make a, you have compulsion. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Well, I don't have it with me, but it is one of the spells that I can learn. Let me go ahead and grab it I, real quick. I can grab it. I should have just kept it open, honestly. It's a fifth level or no fourth level. It's a fourth level spell. C compulsion. Uh, uh, compulsion. Uh, um, saving throw. It's a yeah. fourth level. Yeah, enchantment. Actually, no, I think it's going to... Fuck it. It's going to go for enemies abound. That's what it's going to go for. <laughs> oh, no! Yeah! So, intelligent saving throw. DC. <laughs> uh, let's... Uh, DC 15. Saving let's... throw. Und <laughs> under Panic's breath, he's just going to mutter, let's welcome chaos. Uh, Discord do? devil drops. Anarchy! Oh, okay. He's got a plus four, but that's not enough. That's gonna be a 12. He fails. Oof. And immediately he sees this guy right here, who's very clearly in charge, grabs onto his orb and you watch as the flames begin to flicker as he turns towards the guy next to him, who just is like pulling out his sword, not even paying attention to his friend. Yeah. Uh, Greckles, it is now your turn. All right. Uh, I got 80 feet to so I'm just gonna right. go uh, stage. You guys, left. you guys are splitting up. Are we not relatively together? I mean, you, if, you have to go the same direction. Yeah, the so. same direction. He, he can't hit you, so you're fine. Just follow Remy. Yeah, Wait, you'll catch that, him. Yeah, that guy spent his reaction. He, he spent his reaction. So oh, he just oh, right okay, then, go then, somewhat then, north. Oh, okay then. I didn't. Th I didn't. It's only about a forty foot difference, but okay. It's fine. Cool. DM's call. Follow Remy. You got this. Yeah, you okay. have to stick together or else you will get lost. So Okay. Okay, then that's what I'll do then. 80 feet, uh I guess it doesn't matter then. Uh what's, just... Han what's Hanzaki's movement speed? You're using Hanzaki's 40 speed. 40 and I'm using I'm using a uh Ash. 
So it's 80 total? 80 it's total. 80. All, All right. right, so you'd catch me. Yeah, easily. All right. Whoop. Goodbye. Uh, <gasps> it, is now, it is now the cultist's turn. Uh, seeing you guys emerge. Uh, immediately, uh, this one is going to attack the woodwind devil. And these guys are all going to surround this woodwind devil. Uh, Don't they need to make some sort of saving throw to avoid the, the resonance? That's not that devil. This one doesn't do that. Oh, <laughs> oh no. All right. Uh, yep. You they're were all, saying panic. They're, they're all different. This one doesn't give off a resonance aura. That's the percussion oh, no. devil. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. As they begin to swing at, at the woodwind devil, oh. I'm not going to roll their attacks, but they are thoroughly um, distracted. This guy comes over. And he pulls out his orb of dragon's breath. <gasps> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he he is gonna use it on his buddy in, right in front of him. Uh, that so. would hit more than just him. So that's gonna be. It is a ranged spell attack. It's not actually like dragon's breath the ability. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it sucks. Uh, but that is going to be a six, uh, twenty-six, which is gonna hit his friend. <laughs> Ow. And. Let's which breath weapon? Oh, it's fire. Oh. <laughs> yeah, all these guys notably are wearing a lot of red on them. They appear to be worshippers of the red dragon, specifically. Um, uh, that's going to be 27 points of fire damage to his buddy. Jesus! Uh, but he is resistant to it because he is also a, a red dragon worshipper, so that's going to be 13 points of damage? Yeah, 13 mm. points to him. Uh, as he like, just John, what are you doing, man? Yeah, he literally turns around baffled as the guy recharges his orb again, ready to attack again. Uh, the rest of the cultists immediately uh, are going to move forward and try to stop you and block your oh block your mother way on your way fucker! Out. Stop! Stop! <laughs> stop! Stop! You violated the stop! 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 Hey, stop. I know you. Sorry, pardon me. Um, the first one. Uh, the first one immediately in front of you, Task, is going to aim towards your mount because they don't see you because you're invisible. Yeah. So they're going to aim towards... Um, my, why can't I remember your guys' Ibahi. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Uh, and he is going to use his orb. Oh, boss. Ibahi. That's going to be 22. <clears throat> well, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's going to be... If only there was something that could allow us to move unhindered. That is 20 points of damage. Oop, sorry, I hit my microphone. Cursed. Already bloodied. Yeah, he's he's roasted. Oof. Um, the other two cultists on the either side are going to just swing with their short swords because they were not ready for this. Um, oh, that's very sad. Uh, that's going to be a nine. I don't think I'm going to hit them. That's not hitting. No. Oof. That's very pathetic. Uh, all right. Nope. And then the other one on the other side of you, Task, is going to go for Avahi as well. Uh, I think that's going to hit. That's going to be a 21. Yeah, that hits. On Avahi. Uh, wow, great. Four points of damage. <laughs> okay. That's Hang in there, big guy. Shitty roll. Uh, it needs to be shitty. The one in front of you, Panic, is going to aim the orb at you. Is this a line or a cone? This is just a ranged attack. So they're basically like oh, okay. like a firebolt. They're just kind of doing it. Mm. Actually, they should be doing this with disadvantage because it is a ranged attack spell. <laughs> I'm gonna reroll. I'm gonna reroll for Abahi and just see if they miss. All right. Oh, that's cocked. No, they do not miss because that was a natural twenty. So he just takes. Oh god. Ooh. Um, but this one will roll with disadvantage on his. Come on, baby. Come on, stay uh, alive, Connor. That's that's a twelve to hit you. Nope. All right. As he fires out the firebolt, it kind of gets like blasted over as your lizard hound is kind of just right in his face. He just kind of blasts himself in the face. <laughs> oh, but they, good. they are blocking your way out. So uh, that ends their turn. Task, it is now your turn. Well, they're blocking our way. I don't know what to do at this point. Uh, there, is, there is a shove action you can make. You could command Avahi to do a shove action. That is an option here. Yeah, but that takes away movement, doesn't it? No, it's an action, and then you it's can like move. Attack. I mean, you, you can't dash, but you can, like, shove and then move. 
I'm just saying that's an option. You don't have to do that. It's an option, but the moment I fucking move, I got three. Well, I got fucked. Uh, I don't know what to do. And if I fucking heal Avahi, that makes me visible. No, I don't think so. Yes, it yeah, does. If you cast yeah, it's any kind of, you could full defense. Uh, move. Can I not disengage? He could disengage. He could move you, all the way can, back to you can dis You can disengage and move back, but you cannot move through enemies. They are blocking your path. Oh, God. I don't know what to do. I think disengaging is smart, so you're not surrounded. Because your mount is not going to take a lot of more damage. But at least Borky's back there to protect you. We have a climb. Wait a minute. I have a climb. Can I not climb around the rim of the wall? You can you can do that, yeah. You have to disengage though. Uh, it's, it's still forty feet. Dude. That's, yeah, that's still you can still yeah. get up there, so they would have to shoot you with projectiles if you're on the wall. All right, where where can I go? Where can I escape to if I were so wall you can climb with you can climb up the rim and then like go this way and then collide down. All right, sure. I'll disengage and run the wall. All right, you you rear like you pull back on Avahi's reins, and like they they all kind of like laugh. They're like, "Yeah, run away!" And then you just start climbing up the rim, and they're like, "Hey, wait!" And as you just kind of like <laughs> ride around and like almost Tony Hawk style, kind of like spin, and then immediately do like <laughs> a twist, come down, and you take off. Uh, this guy's going back. This guy will get an attack. Oh no! Actually, you disengage. You're fine. So you're gonna. Yeah, he also burned get... his reaction already, so he's fine. Yeah, you're gonna. I'm just gonna just. Oh god, I hate this. Oh this arrows! Sucks. Oh no! What the fuck? No, I'm not going that way. What are you doing? <laughs> I hate it. They, they, changed their, they changed their scroll system, so now it's like. So I'm. I'm... All right, so you're gonna go. Yeah, you're gonna get about right over there. I'm gonna say you get right there, and that's where you you land essentially. Okay. Uh... Wait, so I'm, I'm over there. I thought I was trying to. Wait a minute. I was. I, I thought I was going to go this way and then go back down <coughs> this way. Don't worry about it. Uh, right. There's an opening there. You can't go in that space. It's an opening. It's not actually a climbable uh, space. You have to go on the rim. Big fucking regretty, but go ahead. All right. Uh, that brings us to panic. It is now your turn. Okay, great. Uh, Do the thing. He'll just, he'll just look at these guys. Uh, and he'll, he'll strum his guitar cheekily in front of them. Uh, waggling his eyebrow horns, uh, and I'm going to cast Panic's Pyrotechnics. Okay. Uh, I'm going to, since that is a non-magical source of fire right there, and it's within range, the fire's going to go out, and then just starts billowing smoke. Okay. Could you yeah. click this Yeah. Uh, yep. Uh, what? Panic's Pyrotechnics. Uh, thick black smoke spreads out from the target in a 20-foot radius. Moving around corners in the area of smoke is heavily obscured, and it persists for one minute or until a strong wind disperses it. All right, so... Fog Cloud's good, isn't it? 20 feet, that's gonna hit. <laughs> this isn't Fog Cloud, this is Panic's Pirate. It's oh, very different. It's much better. It's, it's very, <laughs> yes, it's very different. You'll, re you'll, re you'll read about it in his autobiography, The Unsanctioned One, though. I'm gonna just do that, because that's basically what it's gonna be. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's Actually, it's no. I already I measured it there, and then okay. So then, okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to. Heh. These guys can still see. All right, good. So the woodwind devil and a bunch of the cultists just disappear into this bellowing smoke. I'm just gonna see if someone else noticed. The woodwind devil can still see. <laughs> uh, Remy, as you're as you're running, you see that that blue dragon turns and sees the smoke bellowing oh, and no. change its changes its direction towards you, but it is not part of the turn order yet. Oh, good. All right. Uh, bonus action. Okay. Uh, mantle of Inspiration. Okay. So everyone gets uh, task, range. Uh, yep, Task, Borky, and uh, wait, so uh, oh, that will work. So uh, Task, Avahi, Borky, Green, and Judas. I'll get temporary hit points, and they can use their reactions to move up to their speed. Do oh, it without taking the of opportunity. Goodbye. Thank fucking God. 
you got 30 feet there or 40 actually so yeah 40. you make it off you make yeah. it off the map yeah, yeah. 40 feet yeah. uh we're going we're going which direction are we Just going follow task that over way. here I over here how this how way. fast how fast is my creature 40 feet 40 40 40 feet yeah i can't make it you can open a sheet and look at it i am looking at its speed yeah uh i can get well that's fine your turn is coming up so yeah your turn's gonna come up so then just get there and then get oh. the fuck out oh my god you're so right <laughs> <laughs> I completely right. forgot. Oh, I thought oh. it was my turn. Stick, yeah, yeah. stick together, though. Uh, you want to stick with your team. Yeah, so, yeah, so go stay. down by task. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Since I am riding, since I'm riding Judas, I'm also just going to... Right, right behind. Bada bing. The cultists, <laughs> even though they don't get a top. The later, fucker. Peace out, motherfucker. See you the later. The cultists are like, hey, and they kind of turn and swing and try and, like, throw stuff at you, but they they can't. Uh, Borky, yeah, it is now your turn. Uh, Pinnacle swing around. Pinnacle uh, swing around and flip him the bird and say, eat that. Connor, I got fuckers. so nervous. I'm like, he didn't do mantle of, oh, it's a bonus action. He remembered. Alabas represent. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, Borky's just Perks. a smoke cloud. Perks, um, perhaps, perhaps advertising ourselves is not a good idea. Remy, I need you to roll a stealth check for me, assuming you want to hide your presence from this dragon that has oh, now caught great. wind of the situation. Okay. I'm on Volo, so that's good. Um, yeah. How's a four do it? I got a natural one. So. Uh, it doesn't notice the griffin running away, but notices the giant bellowing smoke as it makes its way towards the camp and not towards you guys. Let's go, <laughs> Bolo! That's what I was going for! That's what I was for, going for! Yes! For the sake of this, as you guys are running through this camp, which, by the way, is not as occupied as you think, there is a lot of dragons in the air that are all now kind of, like, almost like a fly to a, like, um, a little electric bug zapper all kind of have the attention on what apparently is this discord devil which is just creating this huge racket it's not emanating resonance but you hear these horrible shrill shrieks throughout the encampment as you guys dash over burnt fences and toppled tents northward to where beyond you see now rising over the horizon the colossal the colossal mountain of the mountain of repetition and that is where we're going to end the session. For Holy shit. Oh, 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 wow. Cool. All right, bye, Austin. That bye, was, Austin. Bye, Austin. That could have been so bad if you fought them, by the way. Yep. We did not look, walk to. Which is why we didn't. Said, remember which the is boat. why we didn't. <laughs> remember the boat? Always run now if you're out, man, and out gun. Remember the boat. Remember bye, the Austin. boat. Oh, my God. When all else fails, remember the boat. Oh, one twenty two, 122, y'all. 122. Holy fuck. 120. Dragon missed. Wow. Oh, God. Oh, that my God. So, that would have been so bad if he saw you, too. I know. That, that and I had my... disadvantage. That was the whole which is Which is why which is why I cast Pyrotechnics to create a fucking Dude, distraction. That's fucking brilliant. With, that was fucking brilliant. I got so With the Discord that devil that can <sighs> see while it's blind. You know how nervous yeah. I was about this strategy? Is I was fucking quiet during the entire one because I didn't want to fuck it up by just talking. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck, man. Shoot my I was going to be so oh, mad if oh, I got his kill. Are we out of combat so that I can mad. fucking say what, how much I'm, HP Avahi has right now? One, Probably like two. Thirteen. Oh, oh yeah. Good. That's not terrible. That's yeah. pretty bad still. That's pretty I'm, bad. I'm, I'm, well, I'm he sorry, have, but they He they does have temporary really hit points well. now. Yeah. Yeah, he does have temporary hit points. Yeah, we're gonna pick up with you guys escaping the camp. Oh, so oh my god! Uh, that was a wow. fucking rush. We got a lot of people to thank here. Uh, Dangle one three one nineteen and ninety with ten subs wanna, gifted to the community. We, thank you so much. We, yeah, we'll go through everybody. Do we want? No, no, no. Can we do uh, outros first before we do bits? Because oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. People, oh, sorry, yeah. sorry. I'm just yeah. blue. out of order. <laughs> Zeno. Ha. <laughs> Nice, great Timmy impression. Where can they find you? No! Oh, God, you can... God, I haven't thought of that character in years. Collect your... <laughs> coll collect yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Okay. Okay. I don't know why that got me. Uh, hi, you can find me on twitch.tv slash Zito, CC Backlash on Twitter, and the Ever Ingot Almanac on Patreon. Speaking of which, uh... I pretty much made Fantasy Australia. Playable Gators and Playable Driders. Uh, you can find the latest playtest version here at this post. I will put it in the chat. Uh, for streams, 
their uh, Half-Life VR, the last episodes, will be watched sometime soon. Rivals of Aether uh, mod fights will be happening, and uh, Marvel's on stream. Awesome. Goomba. Uh-huh. Where can they find you, Goomba? Uh, let's see here. Uh, first of all, twitch.tv. No H, Monty. <laughs> no, that's fine. I'm just there game. goes the H floating over her head. Ah. Yeah, there you go. Um, Taiko Tuesday is always there's 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 more dumb anime memes to be drummed to. Uh, hopefully, when I can get paid and get that stupid USB mixer, I can actually play for real for you guys. Uh, otherwise, Saturday and Sunday, I not sure. I was gonna play seven, but I'm not enjoying it. So I don't know. Might be more Neil. Might be. We'll we'll see how it goes. Uh, I did have a brand new video go up. Uh, about Ninjala and their dumb bubblegum concept and how it may actually not be so dumb when it comes to the context of Ninja. Um, and then uh, after that, hopefully next week, there's going to be a video on Digimon, specifically Rainamon, because Monty let the cat out of the bag earlier. Sorry, uh, I, you had on Twitter. <laughs> I saw it that's on Twitter. The, that's, that's, that's fair, that's fair. It's, I, just, I, I, I Seriously, when you were upset, I'm like, what, you said, you put it on Twitter. Monty, you didn't catch the H for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> It's because it's 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 because it's because this mysterious man called Senile Snake stole it so long ago. I wonder who that is. I remember who that is. Yeah, I've never heard of him. That's that's what's going on with me. Lots going on. Oh, we lost him. That's fine. Well, he's he's dead now. Am I dead? Am I still dead? No, there you are. Just come by and look at the thing. Okay, who's next? Oh, oh, Bosco, what's up? Where can they find you? Hi, uh, you can find me at Ed Bosco <laughs> on Twitter and Instagram and right here on Twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco, where I'm freaking the fuck out because we almost died. That was close. That was... My heart's in my throat right now. I was like, we not, should run. Not, Running is the not. right strategy. Oh, fuck. My plan is unraveling. I, I, I thought I was like, okay, guys, I'd like to do a staggered attack. We like attack one group, then uh. another. <laughs> No, wrestling on Friday and Halo on Mondays and overcooked whenever we feel like it. Screw the Citra King and Kevin. He's the worst dog. Also a bad sword or dagger. He's Yes, that too. Mm. The unbred hey. are coming. A distortion dabble. Where can they find you? Hello? Connor? Connor? Oh, that was me. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know. Sorry, we were My calling you. Fuzzy you, all went out of your, you went out of your way to get the name. You best remember it. Sorry. My internet's been fuzzy all night. Uh, you can find me on Twitter and Twitch at Distortion Devil, uh, where uh, I stream Tuesdays and the weekends. Sundays are my workout slash uh, WWE 2K stream, which is called Roll Initiative Wrestling, where it's a big wrestling show. With a bunch of the chats D and D characters, and it's a it's a blast. Had a had a real fun time during uh, episode one of season two. Um, Friday's Friday Fun House, where I play a lot of fun party games with my friends. Saturday is um, Saturday is Devil May Cry. We're currently we're on the final game of the series so far, Devil May Cry Five, uh, and I'm gonna take my time with this one because it's a lot of fun. Uh, you can also find me in a couple of other D and D games. Mondays is uh, roll with me with Lenny Pator. Uh, Thursdays is uh, the Shadows We Cast with Colonel Cheru, and Sunday is D6 with Yaro Shien. You you like D and D? I think yeah. I sure have, sure, sure Prince, do. Also, Prince Division on yeah. Saturday too. Yeah. 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 I was, yeah. Prince Division right here. Yeah. My goodness. Uh, guys, you can find me. I'll get to you last, Nadine. Don't worry. Uh, it's your channel. So uh, you can find me right here at twitch.tv. Uh, slash... right here. We're not right here. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah it's fine. Right right also, it's not, it's not my channel. It's it's everybody's it, channel. I just manage it. Fair enough. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Takahata101, where on Wednesdays, there's nothing. Oh! <laughs> um, uh, you can, of course... Uh, by, uh, tomorrow night is Multiverse Nexus Wrestling. I am so excited for this week's show. Uh, I've been working on it with the wonderful and talented Arkov, also patient. Can I overstate patient? Which he helped oh. me get my account back from Russia. He sure did. Oh man! I, you know my favorite thing about your wrestling show is is how I get to hear it through my 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 bathroom and bedroom wall. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's great. Yeah, Monty, you'll never miss a show again. Oh. <laughs> it could it could be worse, Nadine. 
Could it? Just pro- yeah, probably. Yeah, uh, he could be doing it in your living room. <laughs> we also, I'd be playing a bunch of Mountain Blade uh, Bannerlord, the newest, uh, the, the newest sequel to Mountain Blade Warband. It is a fantastic uh, war game where it's like, it is like the wonderful game known as a Total War, but you get to fight on the battlefield with your men. So it's a lot of fun. And that's uh, really it for me. Next week, you might, whenever it comes out, we're going to be playing the gene splicing game known as XCOM XCOM 3 sexy aliens snake dating simulator there's an I'm, image I, I when I was in the bathroom there was an image I saw online it was an ad in one of the battles is an ad on the street in one of the areas where you're fighting it had a snake lady on a stripper pole yeah dude because do, don't, you know, don't, don't you know the meme the meme is actually fun. they made the meme canon the reddit made a meme that there were snake brothels and they made a canon are you yep. serious that's yep. the, yep. They're the those are the mm. best developers yeah yep, yep. they they're leaning pretty heavily into how everyone wants to have an alien wife so they're just gonna lean pretty hard or an alien boyfriend i mean yeah uh, didn't we all play I'm, mass effect guys I'm garrison's gonna, yeah. best boyfriend yeah. i'm gonna post something in uh memes for you guys Thank they you very much. They uh, should but have you... made more than dateable. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. They, yeah, that surprised me. Well, like that would suck it. because then he would be. Oh, <laughs> oh, don't oh. stop. <laughs> See, remember, you want like Jacob? It, it, who? Jacob, the prize. Anyways, um, uh, but guys, you can find me over Twitch TV slash Talk Auto, and we have a lot of fun over there. All right, uh, Monty, where can they find you? Be- before I plug myself, I just want to point out something really funny in the monster manual. So you guys ran into Galabders. I just want to point out their, their speed stat. Uh, <laughs> they have a movement speed of 15 feet. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. They have a movement <clears throat> speed of 30 feet when rolling. Mm-hmm. Get ready <laughs> for this. Get ready for this shit. They have a movement speed of 60 feet when rolling downhill. Yeah, <laughs> man. That yeah. is in the book. It says that in the book, and it's the best, and I love Yo, it. Yo, you know what time it is. Yeah. <laughs> um, you can find me <laughs> at Montague on Twitter, uh, where I, I, I'm, I have an ungodly amount of art commissions coming in all at once, and I didn't expect any of this to happen, but it's happening. Um, you can also catch me posting, I mean, I'm not going to have time, but my own art. Um, and, and various other things. It's mostly a mixture of art, Resident Evil, and D&D stuff. So if you like all that, check it out. Um, but you can find me at twitch.tv for uh, I can't talk. Oh my god. Slow twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Tomorrow we're gonna be playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Uh the new one, the remake. Uh we literally just got out of exile where uh, the entire town turned against me and was ready to burn me at the stake. You know, Pokemon for kids. <laughs> um Child's baby I, game. You, you joke, but the game is really there's doomsday. There's literal doomsday, and it's like, ha ha ha, what? Child so, baby games. Man, Team Rocket's it's, really going for it now. Oh, it's it's it's, a, it's it's emotionally <laughs> devastating. Go for broke. Yeah, um, go for broke, Team Rocket. Do do you? And then Sunday, hopefully, we should have uh, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Uh, unfortunately, I had to skip last week because of a VOD snafu. So uh, this week, hopefully, we'll get some Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Uh, Nemesis is in that game. He's a Hound Doom, but he's in the game. Oh, so <laughs> he's a Hound Doom, but he's Monty in the game. Is seeing Nemesis <laughs> everywhere. I really do. I want to. I wish, I wish that the collector's edition had a statue of him instead of Jill. Is there an un- unfortunate the division? Because I'm going to be sad if there's not. Probably not. No. Listen, we've Damn reached, it, but we're in a police office. We've reached a peak at this point. As long as the game does not consist of a Goliath or anything that looks like Nemesis, Monty just won't play it. Yeah. True. Well. Uh oh. Well, no, no, that's not entirely that's not true. She clear. plays Portal because there's nothing in Portal that looks like them. Well, those robots, those cute robots. Right, but there's no yeah. Nemesis robots. No, there's not. I mean, GLaDOS. GLaDOS is badass, but that is not Nemesis. GLaDOS is so snarky. She's super actually. fucking is Nemesis. She's everywhere and any- she, anywhere. That's one of my favorite her, video game performances. Fucking her, her, actress, anyway. her actress is the nicest person on the planet. She's so she's so is. <laughs> Gentlemen. Oh, for, for those, for those. Right. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. GLaDOS is dating the sniper. Yeah. Anyway. anyway. She's married to the sniper. I know, I, I know. Uh, Draconian 9th with a thousand bits. Holy cow, that was a fantastic episode. Here are some extra birthday bits. Thank you again for all the last Draconian 9. Happy birthday to you. Uh, Shy Guy DML, Electrono, Electro Crisis. Thank you as well. Puppet Fan, gifting five subs to the community. Thank you so much to Puppet Fan. Gamaleo with five subs gifted to the community as well. Thank you so much to Gamaleo. Uh, Mad Bicycles, thank you for the bits as well. Everything for the bits. Flying Spider 
with five subs gifted to the community. Thank you so much to Flying Spider. Second, thank you for gifting us up to Kevin Sucks. We can all agree with that. Leo's champion with 2,500 bits. To you guys getting out of that shit alive, holy hell, panic for Alavastian Council. Put me on. I don't want to put Pat. I don't want to put him. His 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 political message was like, come on, come on, come on, come on, doing the hand gestures. Leo's champion, thank you so much for the two thousand five hundred bits and Dangle one three one and nineteen ninety. Thank you so much for the ten subs gifted to the community as well, guys. Wait, Monty, you're in charge of the raid. I am. Um, can we raid my friend Draco? You can do whatever the hell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. let's raid the dragon lady. Uh, cause she's doing art and she only has five viewers and she actually can't work at her main job because of her, she's got asthma, so she can't actually work at her main job. So she's been doing art to try and like live. So, Drop a train on so, her. So, so for her, those, for her. those, cause I know this is like one of the most popular episodes ever. For those of you who remember the My Little Ponies episode, Draco's the person that did all the art. She literally did every piece of the art. So. Drop yeah. a train. Go we are going to raid Draco. I just need to grab her name. It is one. Oh, God. She's got one of those letter names. Monty, how was it that you described her? It's, it's, uh, uh, uh quiet, uh, quiet, 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 body, but quiet loud voice, body. loud mind. There it is. Yeah. It's, <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> She's, she's constantly scheming, and, and whenever I call her, I'm like, hey, man, she's like, see, <laughs> bitch. And I'm Stop like, it. see, when I do it, I'm annoying. When she does it, it's charming. I mean, it's, it's, it, there's, a, there's a balance. Anyway, all right, you guys ready to raid? Spam those emotes and say uh, hello and give some follows. Thank you guys so much for coming. <laughs> Bye. Oh God, I my fucking heart's still in my throat. I yeah, know. That was I can't. I fucking can't right now. I can't. Oh, that dragon on my size. Oh, come on, guys. I had to give her. Oh yeah. I rolled a four. Oh, Remy, why? It's all in the dice rolls. I know. 